but for once we don't have an off-screen dream that we ended up getting so we're, we're just gonna keep on rolling in the last one we got uh we got a flying airship that also has a, a, a boat mode we did quick time events we fought in sewers an 85 year old man said mama there's a lot going on Uh, I mean, the brownie was good. Hey, we're continuing on with disc three here. I did a little bit of leveling in that I got people to 35. Uh, Mage just started unlocking the level six black, white, and spirit magic, so I got those on Ming, so she's pretty stacked. We're looking pretty good. You all right, dude? I can't believe the goats and train crashed. If Foley got attacked by them, there's our screeches. Did you hear that? Just now? I wonder... It must be... We're looking for a crash train. Uh, what do you two want? Where's the train? That you were talking about. Uh, right. I did see Toby Fox uh, uh, nuke a guy in orbit. That was pretty good. Please tell us. Uh, um. Okay. Um. Please. Um. Uh, run away. <laughs> Is that, that way? I think it's worth a look. Hey, it's dangerous up there. There was some really weird stuff going on. You know. Hey, silent chef. sounds like every BBC anchor a little bit, yeah. Thankfully, we select locations from a menu, so we can never get lost. Crash Magic Site, let's go. I did spoil myself that the next section was going to be Crash Train Site. Location names don't really matter. But I looked that up because uh, I picked up all shieldless from a chest in the camp and went, where's the other one? Because shield and barricade in this are, uh, protect and shell from Final Fantasy. I'm like, where are those spells? I need those. If I miss them in chess, I'm screwed. Daddy needs a convenient way to power up. Someone just left $500 here. It's crazy, dude. magic train for people who missed the last stream uh the characters got separated and put into a lot of groups at this point uh we got like half the team here looking for kaim and sarah and then the rest of the group are in some new airship they picked up we should hopefully get them back together i imagine to conclude this disc so the disc four can be the whole party Gongor is now, like, in his super goon chair on top of Grand Staff, causing natural disasters. The dude's skating. Imagine that's also in Carl anytime they're in your call. Yeah, it's fucked up. Is this it? Neat. Ah, oh, good, cool. There we go. Magic level six. We got revive, cover -a, 
which uh, is an absorbing damage on one person thing. And then our defense and magic defense all. All right, we got two people that can do it as well, so we could like open boss fights with hitting up both. Yeah, Gongooner over there is just, uh, he's very excited about all his necromancers and whatever else he's doing. Can I make any rings? I bought more materials again. Uh, already. Uh, pickpocket ring ultra. Yeah, there's some that I just don't have for various reasons. Uh, to, to be fair, we should do that. Alright. We can get mug level two. I'll put that on uh put that on Seth whenever we get back to that group. Burning Cave. This is another old ass eighties, nineties RPG dungeon name. Did I equip Ming with her second slot item? I did, good. I just gave her more MP. Got Gord's the type of guy to pray everybody dies and goes down no matter what. So A little bit, yeah. He's an exceptional hater. Okay. It's trash mob, so I'll probably just gamble among other things. Anyone who has black magic, I'll just use water. I assume that's, you know, we're not going to want to use fire in this cave. Ow! This party composition is kind of scuffed. We only have one dude in the front because he's dealing with every other mage in the back. Yay, good. High roll. Let's go. Oh, he's powering up. Alright, we still have two left. We don't need to change strat. Alright, that was the lowest roll we could have possibly done. Awesome. Oh, yeah, one shot him. Dude, directly weak to it. Okay, there was one more of these guys. I'm getting anywhere from 1,500 damage off these gambles to five. Yeah, she actually has a little bit more magic attack than Jansen, it looks like. Oh, man, you just got, you guys immediately popped, hell yeah. 36. They're like, hey, you want another? I'm like, not really, but I'll do it anyway. Same, dude. Same rotation, too, but whatever. We got our we got the cursor set to memory, so I can just hold that button and get us get us out of here as soon as possible. You've almost entirely bled out, but I'm still going to believe in you. My belief was misplaced. Never mind, it was not counter, baby! Okay, you're dead now, but that, that was a foregone conclusion. They're, they're mainly going to target front row. That's just how this shit works. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's not getting shit. I did not expect uh, us to be able to clear on this turn. Oh, oh, that 
Whatever, it's not like anyone can fall behind in this game. Maybe they ain't due to help you with, uh, eating shit at all. Uh, you're only mainly gambling. Give me some. Looking at seeing if any of these are good. You know, I'll put amulet on you. Random chance for a physical attack to just turn into health instead. That's a pretty good one. How are we doing on MP? Uh, Cook could use a could use a use a pill. Swallow this pill. Keep it under your tongue a little bit, and then we'll be good. It's a natural geyser. Boiling hot water shoots through the cracks. Don't get burned. Alright, it's just gonna be a timing game. There's no end to dungeon concepts in this. Dungeon hazard? Yep, we've had some of them. There was a poison floor earlier. The train sequence, I guess you could count that as a mini dungeon where we had to like run to the front with before the freezing ice dealt damage. The snowy region had like pockets of air shooting out of the rocks to knock you down to lower levels. This really is an NES SNES style RPG in pretty much every area. Back when dungeons had a little bit more going on than set dressing and, you know, corridors and stuff. It still has, like, the corridors on. I'm not saying they're super intricate. I feel like Mega Ten has dungeons that are a bit more involved than this. Uh, that being said, Mega Ten has dungeons that I hate significantly more than this. <laughs> Usually around the time that I feel like, okay, what next? The the dungeons and these ends, so they feel like paced just right where I'm like, okay. I mean, they gave me two sewer dungeons in a row, and uh, uh, it made up for the fact uh, that it wasn't taking place in here that long. Oh, boy. What do you mean it counts down while I'm opening the chat? You are pricks. Oh, thank God there was a spell in there. Uh, let me, let me check out what we're working with here. We got level 6 Black Magic Forza. Inflicts physical... Oh, yeah, this is the spell that specifically does physical damage despite being magic. That's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty alright. If you're wondering what happens when you run out of health, or if you can in hazards like this, you can. Happened to me with the ice, they just give you a fucking game over. <laughs> They're like, yeah, man, they're dead. Or for the purpose here. All of them except Ming are dead. That's, but a world without Janison is a world I'm not willing to live in here in Lost Odyssey. Go, dude. It's important that I stream this game for the audience so that many who will never engage with the video game as it's trapped on Xbox and it's old it can experience the the whimsy of this hidden gem. That is the level 6 spirit magic uh, item. That is all. That means someone who doesn't normally use spirit magic can do it, so put that on you. I think so constantly about keeping these characters up to date with certain spells, the immortals in particular. I forget that every other character that is an immortal is a one trick, so they need accessories to be able to do additional things. If only got ported, yeah, but sadly it's... This is like Halo, whatnot, so it tends to not leave the Xbox. And when it's a console game only, and it's not hyper, hyper popular, they don't think to put it on the personal computer. If I feel bad about missing some chests, it's no big deal. I can always come back. I'm thinking we got like two streams left of this, to be honest. I think we're gonna burst our way into disc four and then do as much as we can here today. And then I'll grind a little bit and then maybe we'll see if we can run the rest of it tomorrow. Hello, Prowly. Hold on, what do we want to do for this? Yeah, you can gamble. 
Uh, hold on, let me look at the chart. I always forget. I'm never gonna remember the weakness chart for this game for some reason. Oh yeah, it's because fire beats wind. That's something I'm never gonna understand ever. Wind, wind does beat her. So we, that's that's not. And you can gamble. Alright, let's go. Blip! We need an Xbox to be cool again. Hey, they're kind of cool. <laughs> they're putting Persona 3 on Game Pass. So I'll be a little nice to them. Shame what's happening to that dorm, though. Holding it and seeing them thumb through all the things and the cursor going like that just makes my brain feel good. That Trump is so ass. I actually didn't see what your take on it. I, I listened to that on my own and went, that's kind of bad. It's and I re-listen and I listened to the full version of Mass Destruction, and even I don't think that one's necessarily bad, though I feel like the female vocalist uh, says baby different and it kinda of throws me off. They put out High Fight Rush, so they're kind of cool right now. Yeah, but then they put out Redfall. Too bad. Okay, so we can actually get rid of the... We can get rid of the gas. I guess that'll make, it, make us have a better time of getting through this cave dungeon. Octopath Traveler 1 could never make a cave this intricate. New Mara's here! <laughs> I'm sorry, their noises really got me there for some reason. Uh, okay, I think they're weak to water, so we can uh, hit them with Aquara. Ow. Stop hurting my child. Oh, you're so fucked, dude. They're all gonna hit you. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Absorb pop. Absorb pop? Oh, counter pop? Oh, hold on. Hold on! Alright, he did it! He did it! We're good! I'd, I'd prefer if he did not cut it that close, but thank you. Alright, quit doing that. I'm gonna have you heal. <laughs> that, that was horrible. My heart burned. Oh, man. Oh, no, oh, God. Uh, oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot about that part. I forgot that he lost so much health, our guard condition's down, so back row can just take hits at 100% damage now. They're like, fuck Cook in particular. Sorry, yeah, I forgot, I'm <laughs> I forgot, I forgot about the game's main combat. We need to get we need to get our full party back so I can have more than one physical front row person. This shit's getting dire. It's okay. They'll clearly not hit her again. Definitely not. Hey, where are you going? It's fun. The AI clearly targets things that are beatable, which some RPGs just pick randomly. I'm convinced this one's like, no. These enemies play to win. Go fuck yourself. I am the greatest. Jane Jansen always saying this when I'm those small girls dead on the fucking floor. Well done. Let's get us all back up. Back up enough. I can't go up that. It's a bit of a slip and slide. Can't go on that. There we go. Dodging and weaving. 
Uh, uh. Oh, there's a sparkly down there. I'm always ready. Prince Grand Kid is dead. And he's like, whatever, man. Jesus left. The only unfortunate time is sometimes when, uh, when an enemy barely survived a hit, so a big high magic attack is just gonna mostly be wasted to finish it. Please ignore the banging, I'm using a foot rest. There we go, I'm, I'm sitting at attention now. I'm in the gamer focus mode. You excited for Fan Fest? I am. I'm not going to be covering it or anything on the stream. I'm probably I might still be streaming when it starts or something. I think, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to see the full version of their next expansion trailer and stuff. Well, this and Blue Dragon, the only Xbox JRPGs that reported. Yeah, that and Eternal Sonata. That was another. Yeah, that was another one. I imagine I will eventually have gone through all of these at some point. But thankfully, there's just enough of a gap right at the start of the year for me to slip this in. Er Eternal Sonata was on the PS3. Ah, okay, so it really is just. Really is just these two because they're the Microsoft paid for ones. But, uh. Yeah, I can see, I can I can understand why someone would mention Eternal Sonata anyway, given that they are uh, they they are what I would say are the Xbox 360 cope RPGs in which you don't have a lot of options. These are literally it. Thankfully, this one's incredible. I cannot speak to the other two. Looks like I can... Dude, I hate you. There we go. We need to bring back RPGs like this that specifically have the directed backgrounds like this where they keep cutting as you as you move on to different things. It's not pre-rendered, but you know, like, the way the camera moves for these have always been great. Oh, fuck. How did I forget about Enchanted Arms? That, if we play, that's going to be a nightmare. There's a guy specifically in the voice role for that that does the stereotypical gay man voice, and I don't think we will survive. I do not believe this stream will live to, de to deal with that an entire game. I'm going to get another black coffee. Thanks for fueling my vices. I looked over here and saw three, three water bottles uh, lined up. <laughs> it went... Yeah, this... Yeah, 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 I'm in the picture. The only difference is it's not delicious coffees that come in a machine. Ah, I'm burning up. How's it so hot when we're under a snowfield? This heat must have accumulated from the bowels of the earth. <laughs> That's like the butt. Didn't FromSoft make that? They might have. They might have. They did a lot of things. They did, like, those games on, like, GameCube era that were, like, card-based RPGs. Of course, Evergrace and stuff like that. People like to like to reference as well. Or Eternal Ring.
if you are looking for B-tiered video games, FromSoft had you covered for a very long time. Monolithsoft did those cards? I thought FromSoft had their own. But I do know, but I do know Monolithsoft also had Bonkaitos. Yeah, I'm not thinking of that. Let me go look up FromSoft Games. And this will tell me exactly the one I was thinking of. Not that. Can I get the whole thing? Lost Kingdom? It might be that. Let's see. Here it is. Oh, shit. Yep, this is it. Let me pull this up. There are two of these. I'm talking about Lost Kingdoms. Came out on GameCube. This is what I'm talking about. I remember seeing this on like G4. I've not played a second of it. Came out in 2002. Uh, battles are played in real time where the player has to keep their character moving to avoid enemy attacks and plot tactical points. Uh, Katya uses her cards for battle purposes as she cannot fight. Uh, it also has like, it's a deck builder and it also has like multiplayer in it. Neat. What slurs did G4 be used to describe the game? I don't really have every single slur memorized, unfortunately. You know, the only ones that really come to mind are, uh, I believe, Morgan Webb saying that Tales of the Abyss is the reason we should have dropped a third bomb. So, can't say I'm too experienced on every stupid, horrible thing they've said. Gonna be honest, when we were talking about Lost Odyssey yesterday, wasn't ready for someone to give me an X-Play review of the game. I don't think it's fair that I have to be abused this way. But even worse, they said that to me and it went viral because multiple people said that and went, what the fuck? I saw multiple quote tweets that like broke a little bit. For those wondering, the review said uh, that <laughs> Lost Odyssey has not progressed the turn-based RPG genre and the turn-based RPG genre has not progressed in the past 20 years. If you remember when this came out, that means it has not progressed since Final Fantasy 1! <laughs> because 20 years ago there would be 1988. It was mostly a surface level review. I think the EGM article someone sent me pissed me off way more. In that review, they're like, uh, the game's bad because, uh, it has children in it. The game is bad because they reminded me of the FF4 kids, despite them. Their only difference is they're childs and they have magical spells. You see Tony Fox being the most, uh, oh yeah, Toby Fox did that thing, yeah. My understanding is there was, like, some music licensing issue with the Undertale fan game. And the guy who's, like, in control uh, of the Undertale music was being really catty about it. And then Toby just said, uh, yeah, I support every aspect of this. Go ahead. It, it, it's up to us to, you know, make, make sure fan projects are allowed to, like, survive and be cool with them. The dude was like, I'm gonna... I'll give you $10,000 if you if you do this or whatever. He's being a complete asshole or whatever. And then Toby just goes and, and says... Here's my statement. Uh, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you guys twenty thousand dollars. Pretend ten thousand of it was that guy uh, to the charity of your choice. I love Toby Fox because he clearly models how he communicates and does news the exact same way a Japanese developer would, where you do not hear a peep from that guy, maybe once a year, if that. I also learned recently that he thought that Ghost Trick was a masterpiece. So once again, he's my guy. I had a feeling that was going to happen. 
I had a feeling. Well, let's do it again. Ah, shit. You know, it's tough being so popular. The yeah, Undertale isn't too long. You can knock that out. Then it's on everything now, too. Well, let's see. Never, under any circumstance, never stop gambling. Uh, however, though, uh, we're, we're almost out of juice, so some of you do have to stop gambling and heal up real quick. I'd, li I'd like you guys to actually gain some, <laughs> gain some experience here, if possible. Alright, go for it. Remember a fantasy writing podcast when they interviewed Toby Fox back, back when, and he only accepted because they offered to do it only by writing having a text to speech read the answers that's yeah that's cute he is a funny he is a funny little dog wait hold on hold on back up we're, we're entering the memory mode of healing a bunch of people. We don't need to do that. We can do it for Cook, though. Yep, that's good. Uh, yeah, that, that checks out. Alright, go for it! Ow. I thought I healed you. I guess I picked the wrong target. My bad. Toby Fox is only one year older than me. Yeah, that's crazy. That's okay. We're gonna get you up, and uh, you're immediately get Cook's immediately gonna take a hit, fall down again. I will clear the rest, and then we'll move on. As you can see, I seem to be some somewhat of a fortune teller. <laughs> It's okay, this is meant to happen. She's literally the white mage. Alright, now pick yourself off the floor and heal everyone else around you. And being a millennial makes a lot of sense. Yep. It was like other people, you know? Composing some internet music on the side. Making ROM hacks. Made something a game maker. It just happened to be one of the most significant indie games ever made. I was very scared of what they would consider a push right now on that part. I was very worried that game was gonna fuck me. Like I had I had no faith in the game not being cruel just now. Ooh, I love this. I like I like that I can just use the stick to be like, is there anything worth going over there for? And it's like, no. Ah! You fuck! You will pay for your insolence. Oh, God. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, I'm just fucking wading through it. it. Scared me, too. It's not great out here. It's 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 quite funny that Undertale was in fact a Kickstarter game. I did not know that until a few years. Oh, I'm gonna have to go through the geysers again. Oh man. Ah! 
I've never really had the inclination to, like, look up what Toby Fox looks like, because I'm a normal, I guess. I don't know. Never really had the desire there. I like the idea of him just being being stupid fucking dog, as he's described. Oh, that's a one point sweep, probably. Good job. It's just like Yogo Taro. It's like, like it's like I know what he looks like. He's just just a random bald guy, but you know. I really need that. Oh, thank God that worked. They're killing children. Let's go. <laughs> the thing you snapped in Ultima over. Ultima going, blue checkmark interaction farming accounts running to tweet, why does Dungeon Meshy food look so good? It's like $5. Probably with, you of all people have no right to tweet this shit. Hold on. That will be going on my insane thread later. Because <laughs> you're, ma you're making some good points. And I think I want that framed for months. I need it. People learn drills I didn't. Weird people, I imagine. Some people get really invested in, in that drill account for some reason. I just go and I see a post from it every, like, three months and that's about it. I can't believe they made the middle one a trap just to fucking knock you down. That's some Mega Ten ass shit. How dare you. Okay, boss coming up. Yeah, Toby's a ghost trick fan. It was nice to hear about that. Big room? Big fights? Oh shit! <laughs> they're, good thing they're in there and we're out here. Sense of pulse. They can't be dead, can they? They can't be. No. Yeah, don't panic. Everything's fine. Don't, don't, don't worry. Down. I just can't hear it. I sense a huge energy surge. Not oh, great. Oh, that surge. <laughs> Oh, God. Dude, you're huge. Yeah, send me your paint deck. No, I never support that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. More good news. I didn't know a creature like that lived around here. <laughs> probably just some manifestation of whatever power is... This Never stop posting that clip, Rally. So. Can we save Kaim and Sarah if we beat the creatures? No, if we will defeat them. Okay, Ice Magic Beast. Uh, let's see. What do we want to? What do we want to open with? Uh, yeah, let's do Mindus on Ming. Actually, no, we'll do... 
thinking about it a bit more here. Where is it? There it is. We're gonna do it on Jansen, because Jansen's the one person who's not gonna be doing support in the opening turn here. Uh, all shield us. And you can go for all barricades. Oh, that hurt! It is water element. That, that sure explains everything that just happened. Ow. Uh, what beats water in this earth? That's right. Hmm, don't I have like a wall move with you at all? I feel like I had something in here with that. Oh, I think it's in skills. Yeah, walla. Yeah, give a give that to Mac. Wow, you actually uh, you actually have more priority than an item. That is, um, I've never experienced that in the entire game. That's bad. Because you saw the Ghibli move. Yeah, yeah, it'd always be like that. Alright, we're not in a good spot now. Yeah, just use the goddess medicine or we're gonna fall behind curve to the point that we can't even keep up anymore. to refer to the guide just now. Allow me to read what this says. Now here's the bad part. This boss is immune to spells. Now chat, I I'd like to inform you. The party they've given me is four mages! <laughs> Okay, let's go. I just think that's rude. It's okay, I'm gonna hope that the spell that deals physical damage will count. kind of these are the special kind of experiences what kind of experiences are those you may ask uh the ones where i just wipe on the first try because this is not fucking working out Even getting that much is not, I don't think, enough to really help us. But I'll keep doing it. 
Forza? Maybe he doesn't. Uh, you, we're only gonna do it once, because if, 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 if everything's gonna miss, I don't need it. I don't need to do that. Uh, what can you even do? You can do like a baby heal, I guess. You do that. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. All right. Uh, oh fuck. We got barricade though. Does that hit you? Oh fuck. No spell hits him. Oh man. This this fucking wops. Gamblers we lost, yeah. I'm gonna be honest here. This is a bad boss. <laughs> okay. They gave me four mages and said, I don't know, physical attacks only. I'm like, how about you kill yourself first? I'm just gonna keep attacking until we wipe. We basically lost on turn one in terms of uh, tempo, so we might as well just get out of here and do it again. I've been I've been spending each turn trying to recover from two turn two turns of damage. I just need to come in with the right with the right thing. It's okay, I now know what to do in the next one. Max going to have to deal as much physical damage as possible. Dude, you were real with it. You were like huge and shit, alright? That was crazy. I'm sorry, you bosses haven't been trying in the past few of them. You've been mostly puzzles. Alright, let me see what I can do with them. Damage up, machine killer, mug, poison effect, damage up, level 1 plus. Damage up, level 2 is probably good. I don't think I need anything beyond that. We're going to put absorb magic on him in case a random spell doesn't actually hit him and instead absorbs. I need to protect the two in the back because they're better healers, so Jansen go in front. That'll buff our guard condition. Um. I'll give him the snatcher ring, I guess. What, oh, what, what equipment do you have? Immune to seal. Reduces water element damage. I'll put that on you. Yeah, all this seems right. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, yeah, more good news. I didn't know a 
creature like that lived around here? They're probably just a manifestation of whatever power is causing this awful cold. Can we save Kaim and Sarah if we beat the creatures? No, if. We will defeat them. Alright, Mac. Let's see what we can do here. Our best option is combo. Best thing you can do from your position is, uh, physical attack. <laughs> All barricades, yeah. Casting support on me. One hundred, I'll take it. There we go. We need we need the shell to go up as soon as possible. Hope you don't have an insane amount of health, or else this is gonna get very fucking bad. You know what, Mac? I'm gonna buff ya! <laughs> Wait, hold on. Stop this shit. You do combo. Do I have. Yes! I have power drinks. Do some of that. This child is our strongest option. Ah, okay. Bo both characters in the front got frozen and their guard condition went to zero. I don't know what's going on in anything in this game anymore. That's just a thing that can happen. That's cool. I don't even think I have an item for that status effect. Yes, I do. Get up. It's okay, we have the item for it, so yeah, it could be worse. Blazing rubies. Oh, okay, we have a shit ton of those. Never mind, we're good. Uh do this in case we take another big hit coming up. Okay. Combo. Okay, the buff stayed. Alright, that's fourteen hundred a turn just off him. That's gonna get real bad soon. He's so tall. Yeah, I gotta do one of those. As much as I don't wanna turn down my DPS. Do buff stack? I have no idea, but probably. How dare you miss? This dude's rude as shit, honestly. Can I show you something? Yeah. Sorry, I was looking up, was looking over there. Chat. The tweet is good morning. The post is uh the post is this from Cody Rhodes. January sixth. Bring it.
Hold on, there's gotta be something. I'm like, I have other food. Let's see what's on offer here. Put cover on him. Gonna face Jericho's wife in the capital. Lost the election to Dwayne Johnson. Stop the count. Makes sense. Hair kind of fits. There we go. Now, now if Mac takes damage, a bunch of it will get absorbed. Put up the wall again. Because as soon as my guard condition down there drops, we're gonna start. We're just gonna start dying. Fully on the train of Cody will go into politics when he retires, surpass Jesse Ventura as most successful wrestler politician. Let's go, dude. I hope he gets YouTube poops as good as that guy. go. We got guard condition level 3. I can go back to hitting again. Except for the fact those two in the back are going to be frozen. Oh boy. Thankfully it did no damage to the people in the front thanks to the cover. You need to go for damage, but uh, we should just, we should play this properly. Let's not, let's not. Let's get them both back online. Governor would say the matters more than Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota never matters, yeah. Wow, the cover was still active. Okay. Gumbo. Hit. Zephyra. On the off chance uh, your attack buff has fallen out by now, let's start getting it back on. Oh, we got magic absorbed. That didn't do shit. I think we're gonna win. <laughs> I think our adjustments off one wipe is gonna make us kind of ruin them. I'll miss the second one. That's too bad. It's alright. Keep up. Uh, creates a barrier that it's... Oh, the other two still have it active, that's why. I was like, why, why can't you do that to them? Fuck. Problem. Okay, then... Oh, okay, we can't, we can't choose, uh, Mac for that either. Jansen, that. Have an irrational dislike for Cook. It happens. We have not made any minging references, to my knowledge, surprisingly. Pokemon! Still kicking. Okay, now he's gonna freeze me with an attack every time I hit him physically. I'm glad he didn't start with it. Okay. 
Oops. Eh, it's still hit. Okay, we got it. Alright, how much health is that? 10,360. Not bad. I wish I was stronger. I also wish you were strong. If you were doing like 1200s, that would have been a bit bad. All right, can we get can we get Grandpa and Grandma out of the ice now? Whoa, hey! Oh, Kaim, Sarah, are they okay? Kaim, come on, buddy, snap out of it! Come on, buddy, you're immortal, right? Come on, Sarah. makes sense the twins would insist on healing them since these two nearly died solely because the twins were idiots. All we need now is to get to the rest of the Thanks, group. Jensen. Don't worry about it, buddy. We've got bigger problems. By the way, uh, you can always get a job as an ice sculpture. Kidding. Huh? The CG bubbles. Oh. Evil? No fucking shot, it's the rest of them. Man, how the- Man, you guys are really good at this shit. Did you, like, put a GPS in someone's Gucci or something? That's crazy. Well, that was convenient. Why is Golden Boy still hanging around? Who is that guy? Everyone, get on board! <sighs> You're all safe. Well, we've been kind of through hell and back. I mean, we're running and fighting. Yeah, not that you'd care. How did you find us? The pendant that I returned to Ming. Oh. Uh -huh. There's magic energy in it. We've been tracking its output. That's cool. Oh, Does Colton still have the thing in his eyeball? We've gotten a lot of help from this pendant over the centuries. Yes, we have. Captain, Probably don't want should. Gangora doxing you right now. This is the Nautilus. It belongs to my son, Said. That's me. Wow. The great pirate Said in the flesh. It's great to meet you. So the great pirate said is Seth's son. Ah, you must be Kai Marginar, the immortal doing the dirty work for Ura. That was a long time ago. That was stream Here one. We have Kaim's <laughs> beloved wife, Sarah. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> and Numara's thousand year old Queen Me. It's an honor to meet you. And Jansen kisses his hand too. <laughs> this game feels insanely dense. Yes. Like I imagine Disc Four is about to start because we finally gotten all I think ten party members back. Welcome on behalf of the Nautilus. I uh, think you know this pretty boy here, King Tolton. Why are you here? 
He's been used and betrayed by Gongora. So, his objective is the same as ours? Yeah, he's still wet behind the ears. But I think we can make something of him. A daredevil, right, Mama? Daredevil? Yeah, a real macho man. Hmm. What? I, yeah, I thought something was in your eye, nothing. Who does your hair? Uh, yeah. It's okay. He's been abandoned by Gongora. Left I'm dead. glad they addressed my question of whether or not Gungor's, like, magic tracking contact was still in. We did it! Disc 3 is done. Alright, one more disc to go. And if it's like any other JRPG, this disc will be, like, 30% smaller than the last one. Sleeping? When we passed out, I dreamed. I saw Mom in the Aurora. You were there too. Really? So weird. I, I had the same dream too. I wanted to ask you about that. Maybe we really were there. Wait a sec. You mean it wasn't a dream? Yeah. Were we able to get to the Aurora? Well, Mom was there. So, it was like a dream. Yeah, it was like a dream. But it wasn't a dream. She thanked us for coming, didn't she? Yeah. She said she had something to tell us. And, and it was something for Akaim and Farah. I think so. I wonder if they'll think we're crazy if we tell them what she said. Nah, I doubt that. They're not like that. Well, then let's tell them. Hey, wait, Mac. Let's just check and make sure we really saw her together. Yeah, the what? game has, like, the, oh, that nice okay. mix of, like, medieval tell swords and sorcery, said. but also robot together, stuff, okay? because the robot stuff's very One, important. two, thank you. And then she went on like she really wanted to tell us something. Yeah, she did. She said she loved us. She said she was glad we came. Yeah, she was glad. Now we can't use her jump function anymore. We broke it when we were leaving Ura. Yeah, she's more delicate than I thought. Oh, Ma, don't go saying that. What are you, 60? That, that's just sick. <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? No, no, I think it's really very endearing. Yes. Where are the kids? Asleep. It appears they've seen Miram. I see. Gungora might not be there when we return to Ura. Why? When I was helping Sed, Gungora had boarded Grand Staff. After that, Grand Staff seemed to just fly away. What? It flew? That thing can fly? I think we'd have a better chance of finding Gungora if we looked for Grand Staff, rather than returning to Ura. What do you think, Kaim? Yeah. If we keep heading south, where does that put us? The land of the Eastern Tribe. Let's land and take on supplies. I might be able to tweak the Nautilus for more power, too. Seth, this ship is a submarine, right? Can we find an underwater passage to an inland lake? That's a great idea. Said, set course. Aye, aye, ma'am. You're still captain of this ship, Said. And yet you're still giving orders, Mama. Kaim, Sarah, Seth. I remember everything. The Hall of Mirrors, 30 years ago.
Yo, sick. Do you remember the world on the other side? We must return. We can't stay here. We're not from this world. Yeah, that much I remember. When these mirrors give off light, a path links the two worlds. I shall remain here. <laughs> it plays the evil music. They won't allow it. Don't you feel the light? Oh, I feel it. Time has begun to flow again. A thousand years was a long time. And yet, those thousand years were very important. What a guy. Then he killed Lyrum. And he took advantage of Anira's betrayal of Seth. Threatening me and leaving my subjects' very lives hanging in the balance. He used our shock and distress to steal our memories. Yes. Okay, we're all caught up then. Hey, look, a ship. While well, on the scene, the Nautilus controls work the same way as the slant nose. Set the Nautilus in motion, move the left stick. It can dive. Press B to, uh, when B to ocean floor is displayed on the bottom right, press B to send it underwater. Once underwater, the Nautilus controls the same way as on the surface, except you cannot leave the ship and get back by pressing B. Some areas, such as shallows, ice fields, and hypercurrents, are not navigatable, even to the Nautilus. Press RB to move to the bridge, return to the sea navigation, approach the cockpit control to confirm you want to go. When you approach shores, land, make the world map appear, click the right stick. Red board, choose the landing point. Nah, I'm good. Well, here we are, we're out, we're out in the field. And yeah, that cutscene just kind of went and they're like, yes, we now know everything. All right. They're like, we, we, I kind of understand why they want to, like, finally just get you out here. G given disc three is entirely, like, hyper linear. They only gave you access to the world map maybe once. Yeah, well, they want to jump in pretty fast here. Can we say hi to the scarab? There he is. All right, where are we? Should probably go southeast. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in between its hips over there and dive.
you will see it go in. Oh yeah, they definitely want me to dive here. There's a hole right in the middle. All right, let's go to Sutopolis. There we go. The Great Ancient Ruins. This doesn't look like Sotopolis. I was, I was being, you know, I was being hopeful. It's been a long time. It certainly has. You've been here before? Yep, I never thought I'd be back. Yep, we need it again, though. W need what? The power that comes from synergy with magic energy. There is a technique to amplify the various powers that abound in the You nature. lied to me, had to demand a refund. I have no money. I have nothing for you. By means you. of spells that have existed since ancient times. They say there is a stone that this psychic energy is bound within. That's what you mean, right? Ah, well, you sure know your stuff. But I guess after a thousand years, I mean, who wouldn't? Hey, ow, that's ow, enough. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> My. She hate when she oh. does that. Moms are like that. Wait, back up. So the treasure you're talking about is a stinking rock? <laughs> there was plenty where we came from. Yeah, there's a magic stone somewhere around here that binds the psychic energy of our ancient ancestors. I risked my life to get one a long time ago. That's what made the Nautilus more powerful than any other ship in the world. Oh, well, that clears it up. A waste of power. What's the matter? The fucking the bird noises the there. I've heard all of them. Dude, them. we're using every the sound library we can, okay? Them to ruin. I have now noticed yeah. that Sarah's tits bounce. All right, good. The same thing is going to happen again. This time... We'll see more changes. There is more magic energy now. And I think it's more... sinister. I just noticed the fire pants. That's the power of being a, being a pirate, I guess. By the way, chat, I apologize. There are not ten party members. There are nine. <laughs> Close, though. Okay, what do I want? Kaim, you're in. Seth, you're in. Sarah, get in there. Ming, I don't think you need to be in. You've been in for a while. Get in Set. Set is the most old man Japanese art I've ever seen in my life. It is kind of crazy. <laughs> he is like the guy. Oh... What an old dude. And he's right directly next to his mommy. Colton's also kind of low level. Oh yeah, you can count as 10 because I played as Gungora for one section. You know, let's get people out back up to snuff here. True, you do not have level 5 black-white yet. Alright, what are you learning? Oh yeah, I had you learning two accessories. You can't learn it. Thank God the mortals can't learn anything, or else this game would actually be too dense for me. Oh yeah, you're learning double SP... And you're learning mental stability. Okay. Well, I said look at the character from Bo Vagabond. Because the artist for Vagabond did every character design. <laughs> you know I was in charge of all character design stuff for the game. <laughs> It 
It said is the one that makes it the most fucking obvious, too. <laughs> it's like either gonna be him or Khan. Game had a lot of talent behind it, yeah. Sakaguchi always wanted to get, like, highly esteemed, like, artists and people involved and stuff. That's why when they went to go, their first game was Blue Dragon and Miss Walker, so he got a Toriyama in there. This one, he wanted... He wanted another... A more more human-style-looking character designer, so they got Ino away for that. That's why they got a mono for Final Fantasy. He wanted some sort of uh, artist that could um, that that could uh, be iconic in the way that Toriyama was with Dragon Quest One and I think Two at the time. Tablet fragment. Okay. What do you want from me? Oh uh, yeah, you guys all have like... Lord have mercy, I might, I might start again. Okay, don't make everyone gamble. I feel like that's less DPS on average anyway. These two can do combo. You go break hit. Uh, you gamble, you're spellcasting shit. Alright. He wasn't running, so I didn't know to get the ring ready. I was like, wait a minute, he's still- Oh yeah, he's a gun. I don't appreciate the stealing. I'm gonna gamble, leave and watch the rest of season one. Good luck! <laughs> yeah, you have a good one. I don't appreciate this amount of poison, but I guess I'll deal. Please don't bow target, Khan. Thank you. Give old man some of his turns. Oh, fuck. Oh, that killed. Whatever. Give everybody a level. A Some of them have been in the back forever. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah learned magic defense boost one. Were you trying to learn that? Is that what I had you on, or was that an enhancement? That was an enhancement. Okay. Cook, you're, you're healing everybody in the front as they try to get back up. Back up to good levels.
Well, here's the entrance. Classic ancient temple crypts. Maybe it's broken. Looks like it's getting power. Maybe it's not set to automatic operation. Okay, we have to find a switch. Okay. Sure. You want a piece of me? Water and fire, okay. We will fumble. Break hit, because that ignores defense. This, because it hits good. Defense was a nice hit. They are still up. You think I'll have another Mario Party Mario Kart stream in the near future? Uh, I'm figuring it out. I'm, I'm, once I get over this, I need to start figuring out what I want to end up doing throughout the month here. We're doing some FF7 stuff for Rebirth, but uh, I'll probably have a filler day for me to do something like that. I'm trying to stream more this month than last couple months because my health is not great. So I kept missing days constantly. Alright, but yeah, I, I would like to do some stuff. Alright, we need to make these things wet. I guess heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a heavy pressure thing, but I do want to get get back to doing good numbers here on Twitch. It turns out combo does about, about as good as I would need it to. another Honkai stream in a few weeks when they give out the free five star. Yeah, maybe. I just need you to hit, Sarah. As it, tur as it turns out, you're the real one. Yeah. 
Can you stop dodging? I'm begging you. This fight is not that thrilling for you for you to be that insolent with me. Oops, let go. That was dangerous. Oh, so when that dude dies, he casts the spell that removes someone from the party. That's that's cruel. That's cruel and unusual. Said's like, I just don't want to level up off that. Uh, everyone else, that's cool. I just don't want to though. <laughs> Fucking prick, old asshole. All right, we're back up. All right, that's just a circle. What's in the back? Nothing. So is there really nothing to this area? This, this chunk? Looks like it. Wait, no, there's a thing right here. I didn't see it. Okay, we are now in a preset party now. My agency, it's gone. Alright, let's go. Is this, is this a front that I would be cool with? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, we fucked with this. Stuff in the walls just set dressing. Okay. Huh. This one looks broken. Are we fighting the platform? That was too well timed. Oh no, it's fucking these guys again. Man, you guys are just ready to go. Alright. I'm starting to think gambling actually makes more sense here because it, it ignores resistances. <laughs> Never stop gambling might matter, yeah. Let's see. Now that was good. I'm gonna need a bit more convincing. Worked a 12 hour overnight, feel dead, how you doing? Eh, I could be better, but I'm doing okay. Yeah, yeah, this the the med this is in fact the method. Time wasn't getting anywhere close to this level of DPS with physical attacks on these guys. Like, sure, some end up being bunts, but some of them break a thousand, and that's that's all that matters. Oh my god. Yeah, he's dead. He's going for loss. Yeah, most break a thousand. I only remember the ones that don't hit a thousand as I look at them judgmentally.
Well, that was nice. Good for you. to these scrimblows. Ow! I don't like you. Can you die? <laughs> this dude's crying right now. They get like 16, 1700 on health, it looks like. Something like that. Oh, I love these gains. Getting these people caught up. That was not ideal, but whatever. These these mana things we have uh, fully res MP in one, one chunk. They do like 500. They got a little bit of that going on. All right, I'm on this side. Anything in the storeroom? You tell me you put this many things here that I can't probe? Wow. Wait. Can I move this block? Maybe. No? Okay. I'll leave it alone, then. I'm gonna keep exploring this until I get ready to swap. Hold up. Magic analysis book? That must be composite, uh, composite magic level 3, if I had to guess. Yes, it is. Alright, let's see what composite magic level 3 even has in terms of things. Sucks that these aren't ordered. Huh, nothing. Nothing that I can see yet. I'm gonna have to get more magic to be able to really see it, though. Excuse me? Or, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot you don't know how to step over an object, Kaim. You don't have to be a diva, dude. Wow, that's... That is surprisingly fast. Folks, I have horrible news. You all have to gamble as well. Except for you. You don't know how to do magic. But, you know, everybody else. Fucking. Everybody else that has it. Get on that shit.
I'm always falling for you, Jansen. Said learned ultimate analysis. Reveals all information related to an enemy. Okay. That's pretty good. That means we don't have to have one that tells me about the elements and one that tells me about its dropped items, so... It ideally is a better overall option to pick. Okay, we'll start exploring from down here because there's no other place to get, go. Oh, we, we, we actually can't get down, huh? That's cute. That means you pretty much can't do anything then. Wait. This one. There was one directly next to it. Does it sound like Carl? Carl's got that vibe. Alarming how many times they compare the baby noises to Carl. That's what happens when you're a fucking trendsetter with baby noises. Something that I would never personally spec into skill-wise, but he decided to. Okay, I get it. I get why you think it's Carl. Oh man, it's that exact same. pretty old. Tolton learned Absorb Guard. Let's check that one out, see if I end up wanting it. Nullifies HP, MP, Absorption. Ah, uh, okay. So if anything tries to use like an Osmos type skill, that's just not gonna work on me. Yeah, it's, it's defined a character trait. <gasps> old. We only have two Immortals on this team. What are you learning? You are learning nothing, which means it's time for you to learn something. Jansen could give you nothing of interest. Wait, hold on. What's Black Staff? Enables all staff users to equip you Jansen's unique staffs. That's that's cool. I have a, That's probably good if you like unlock the late game. No, I don't really have any staff right right now. Colton has a bunch of the guard stuff, MP gift. Uh, we're probably going to want to get double SP. It's a long thing to learn. The faster I get it, the faster certain immortals are going to start gaining things. Because double SP means double the job or like the skill experience. And uh, I'm going to need that if I'm going to finish this game in the next stream, maybe. Ideally. Finding character trait. Still says mama. He's a big mom guy. Unlike Aerie. I love how fast she can run in here. Reset. Yeah, that's a spirit magic. Resets any parameter alterations to one. Oh, uh, okay. It, it resets all the buffs and debuffs. Aries on to moms. This is just a long-running bit. When we went to watch the TLC reality show last year, MILF Manor, Aries missed enough episodes for us to say that they are no longer a MILF ally. Can I, like, headbutt these? 
No? Okay. What's going on in the back? Was Milk Banner good at all? Under no circumstance. <laughs> it was quite bad. We had hoped one episode was the last episode, and when it wasn't, we uh, people started crying. Specifically, Aerie and Bridget. Aerie had no right because they, they barely watched the show in general. If they were here now, they'd be like, come on, man, I only missed three episodes out of eight and fell asleep during one of them. I don't know why my impression of Aerie is like Peter Griffin. Uh, let's just let's just go ahead and get out of that. Let's get out of that. Let's reset a little bit. Not focus on that. On me. Oh, these fucking dudes again. How? Oh, nice one shot. Remember that time when my parents treated me on test without. <laughs> Oh. Holy crap. Hold up. What do we get? We got nothing. I'd like to thank, uh, I'd like to thank Alto for this. Don't check out Love Island. You see, I heard that that actually has some intellectual things worth engaging with. Too bad that we didn't see that. Hey, it's the king. Love my dog. Is victory's food for the soul. Alright, we knocked that shit down there. I think that's uh, I think that's gonna be the way for the other team to get up there with us. Hello. Oh yeah, this thing wasn't here, so. Ah, uh, the classic, uh, FF6 split the party dungeon mechanics. Your dog has a tumbler because I just saw that fucking king edit three hours ago. Uh, Alto used to have the tumbler account Metal Slug X. They created so many, uh, so many memes that, uh, did numbers over there to the degree that multiple of my friends, uh, knew of them without knowing that that was them. Yes, that was them. <laughs> A lot, a lot of our, a lot of our friends were going, "Oh shit, you posted that." That was them. Yes, they were also sour get you on, uh, on Twitter as well, which was the fucking Kirby's Dream Course fucking Kirby icon. Whenever I mention it to it now, they it feels like it gives them poison damage. Yay, more money! <laughs> We're just barely getting under his HP limit. I'm going crazy. This is gonna... Yeah, there you go. Just overkill it, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. Just edging the shit out of him. The enemies should their wimp, put their whimper audio behind a paywall. Yes, actually. Ooh, this is a ferocious group. Wait, back, 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 back. All right, back to it. Okay, everyone's poisoned. That's great. I'm gonna be honest, I want that thing dead. I needed that.
Ah, you're out. Ah, you get to bump it. Oh god, the only one that's going before you is, is someone who's not gonna kill with it. Oh, great. And I'm like, sure, whatever, just don't kill. Oh, fuck, Mac died, shit. Whatever, I'm just happy to be out of this fight. I did it. A perfect battle. You do know Mac died, right, Sarah? Just saying. Bad optics on that on that celebration, I think. Hi. Looks like you made it. Let's get going. And the party's reset. The light turned green. That back on would be a cinch if we wanted to go back. Yeah, that's good. What's up? We're we're in disc four now. We're going through a giant ruin. I'm gonna be honest, I'm impressed the game remembered what my, uh, full party setup was after they split it up. I didn't think they'd, uh, keep that in memory. That's neat. Didn't even give him a shot. What a waste of time. My friend just fucking shot me with the bullet that is uh life is like a video game song. Sorry for your loss. Hold up here. Oh, we got that unlocked. We can now get rid of level five black and white. Because now we have it in one in one mode, so we have another skill slot for something else. I'll put a defense boost on it for now. Oh, that was an enhancement. Yeah, that's right. How have we not made any progress on two accessories? Ah, it's because Jansen isn't in the main party. Forgot about that mechanic. Ugh. No one's learned anything from Tolton. Eh, right, Tolton, you're out. Get back in here, the funny. It's going all right. We did the Millennium Mike podcast earlier, uh, and uh, I hopped over here so we get some stuff done here for Saturday. We're on a nice uh, six-day streak. Yes, a place for me to heal and not waste items. Can I we rest here? <laughs> Can I we rest here? Rest? No, that's for. But look at the boy king. I don't think he's walked ever. Chest first. 
I was worried a boss was gonna spawn and I was about to fuck myself. <laughs> They're like, hey, look at the vista. I'm like, I don't care. Give me the chest. That's what I care about right now. The stone's overflowing with spirit magic. Any interest in dungeon meshing? Yes, I saw the first episode already. It was quite good. If anything, the only fear I have is uh, people I see uh, who enjoy the first episode going, I'm going to read the manga, and my brain goes, no, you shouldn't, because then you're going to post about it, and you're going to ruin my life. I'd rather you did. A modern classic, if you will. It seems it. Yeah, the dub was pretty pretty solid on there. I think uh, all the casting on it pretty good. I liked it because the uh, narrator is Todd Habercorn, who was the narrator for the first voice of cards. Another thing that is D&D-esque. So uh, I think it fit pretty well. He's a bit more chipper in this, direction-wise, but I think it's pretty good. Nice to see Netflix uh, bankrolled that so that they could get, like, multiple dubs out the exact moment a new episode drops. You don't get that too often. Oh, boy. Back to this. Okay. Get Kaim over there. Bryce Pappenbrook has a weird draw to voicing dual-wielding swordsmen. A little bit, yeah. Nothing down here. I didn't know that, but uh, Dungeon Meshing made me crave some D&D type fantasy started playing voice of cards yesterday. Ah, okay, that's good. Yeah, those games are fun. Man, we're taking the whole way down. I think. Not, not activating. Uh, maybe there's something you have to do. around a little bit. And the camera a bit. Okay, there's nothing over here. Surprised there isn't a new one of those announced yet. Yeah, either either they're working on a bunch in a row or they're just gonna stop making them. Uh, or uh, they're, they're trying to make enhancements for the next one that they do, which I would appreciate.
Well, I must have gotten a million money at some point, because we just got that trophy pop. Here is what we needed. I did not hit that. Now I think if I get down there, a uh, Seth's group will find something to get time in them to progress. Oh, fuck. It's the, it's the, it's the dipshit brothers. Sorry, I'm insulting cheese real quick, chat. I had to focus on that while the battle played out. Just clocking in my 9 to 5 real quick. Okay, there we go. The friends give me strength. Todd's still my favorite Game Master voice. Yeah, second one I do not like at all. Third one was alright. The third voice, uh, she, she did a good job in the voice of card stuff, but the second one was a major step down. Honestly, I kind of wish they just kept the same DM for all of them. Out of my way. I like, I generally like the consistency, especially when one of them kind of really hits the tone I'm looking for. And that type of thing, you can just chew the scenery and really flesh it out.
Well, that was painful. We need more games where a narrator flubs the line and just starts saying it over. I think that only happened in the second game, so I'm just willing to believe that they rushed those games out. I don't remember that happening in the third one. It definitely didn't happen in the first one. We need to get him back to the Wave Ocean. What am I doing over here? Chad, I watched a video a few days ago. I was talking about it on Twitter because of that, um, because of that completionist stuff coming out where a real lawyer examines what happened with that completionist charity controversy. And I'm gonna be honest, I almost threw up when the dude went. So the people accusing him uh, got their definitions for every legal thing on Google. <laughs> and I kind of just started cracking up. I'm like, believe how you want on some of these things, but when a lawyer literally goes, you went to the equivalent of, of law tinder <laughs> to find your definitions here, maybe you shouldn't be speaking, uh, speaking libel on somebody. I'm not saying the completionist is blameless in every area, but also he doesn't deserve to have his uh, career destroyed by what I can only describe as YouTubers that just want to make money. <laughs> How much was that lawyer paid? Uh, this lawyer in particular is just a YouTuber that just made a video. They just wanted to examine it as a third party that had never seen their videos. They're like, I saw a lot of people saying things, but unlike them, I am... <laughs> I, I, I am someone in the field. <laughs> and it becomes immediately, immediately clear when that video starts. I, I didn't know uh, uh, what take he was going to have on it, since, you know... Again, I am not experienced. Oh, can I just drag it like... Okay, they really... Okay, they're really nice about when you have to pull things for a dungeon. I keep thinking, if I do it wrong, it's fucked up. And they're like, we do not... We literally do not care. I can't move that anymore. Well, let's get off my back. It means I can't do anything with it. The yeah, jobs thing is just like people who cheat, people that are like scummy or whatever, that kind of thing. I followed him for years before this, so, you know, I didn't really come and go and who's this guy, if you're wondering. I, I may have raised my eyebrow when I saw certain things about certain white supremacist discords he was in, or the fact that his main financial supporter when he got sued by a, a Mr. Billy Mitchell was a notch. But, you know, I was like, eh, whatever. Oh, what, what, whatever. Uh, there, he happened to be in a Discord that, uh, I think the character, the dude's name was, like, White Goose. 
And some stuff came out about that guy openly saying the N-word and horrible things about the Jewish people. And he happened to be in that Discord. I'm simply presenting the facts as they have been laid out. As they lay before me. If it's a fight you want, you've got it. the Amber Alerts, I alone am the lost child. <laughs> Thank you, Deacon St. John. Why is it days gone, Alto? Let's say Deacon St. John, oh my god! Hold on. Dude. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I was talking about the completion of this drama that happened. I watched a video from an actual lawyer examining it, and I came to find that, uh, maybe... Maybe the two out-of-country YouTubers that talk shit about it might, in fact, uh not be the best source for this type of thing. Breaker game. It's just hyper specific. Ah, here we go. And here's the the other one. It's hyper specific in where I do this. Okay, I can't I can't move it. Maybe I move it from a different angle. Mm, I must have to get a platform right there. Don't have I streamed days gone? I think I may have done at some point, I don't know. The game's pretty bad. Gambling will get you so far. Just keep doing it.
Well, there's nothing you can do down here. they just want us to become a group together again now. Might be that. Hold on, let's go to the other end past the past the pillar. There's a chest at least. I can't see it at the right angle, thank you. GM review I showed you yesterday. I have one more bullet from it that I will share when the time is right. Oh, no. That's not fair. Shit. Fuck you, EG. I'm glad you're gone. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on real quick. This can't be moved, which means it can't go back up, which means I can't go back. So whatever's occurring here, I am locked in. Let's see. That way. That way. That way. That way. Can't move any of that. Alright. Times group can't do anything here. That red means it can't be moved. Can't get up there. We must retrace our steps. And find something else to do. Dead end. Other dead end. Real fucking square. It could be a racist microaggression again. Hey, that, that's what games media prided itself on. Such great bangers came from that review, such as The Thousand Year of Dreams was a misuse of the medium of the video game. You may go, what does that mean? That means... Video games shouldn't make you read. That's pretty much what the dude's saying. I will I will illustrate the point for you. Because they they won't. You know their ass go, let's miss you. Uh, the video games are for this and for, for story and just this reading thing. Just stupid. Man. I hate reading. Occasionally doubles counter da attack damage. I guess that could be good. Yeah, they're also optional. They're good tone setters. They're ways for you to understand characterization. It's the same type of shit where people get mad when music's good. And they're like, the music emotionally manipulated me into feeling something. I'm like, yeah, that's, uh, that's art. Welcome to art. Yeah, plenty of people enjoy reading the books and trails, for example. Yeah. Giving you lore about something. A lot of the doors in, in, in Trails the Third are like, hey, do this for, you know, here's, here's something. Here's like an entire text-related thing. Nier, of course, did that with the, 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 the fucking BN Village as one of the more prominent examples. there's a boss here. Let me read what this guy says. Just so I'm extra prepared. Yeah, it says a boss is up. So, let's... Let's go back down. Oh my god. <laughs> Help! Going up. Reading is nice here. Uh, 
Uh, can you activate or something? I think this thing said it could, like, teleport me to other places. Is set in here? Yeah, he is. Last one said. Can't believe this game lied to me. I just wanted an easier way to go, but well, whatever. They're not gonna throw me back eight rooms if I lose a boss fight, and if they do, I'll call the game bad. So let's go. There's always a solution in our hearts. a good party makeup. I think. These two, yeah, we'll do them. Then two support mages. Do that. And, uh, put in Mac. Why not? Yeah, at least this game will let you retry a little bit. Okay. We need Mac in because he has, like, walls and stuff. These two back here have a good enough uh, rotation of white magic that they can do some things as well. Double check on that, that I was, that I was not bullshitting him. Yeah, we got, like, level 6 stuff here. We have level 5. Enemy GC in the front row is 13,000. So, okay, the keystones here have like 67, 66, 100 and change. Alright, combo. Uh, power us. Combo. All barricade us. And, ah, uh, yeah, you can't do anything like that. So, prep heal. Oh, 
Oh, I'm in hell. Oh, good. Oh, good. I think from your distance you're not doing enough damage with that. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to gamble instead. Did do an ultimicia. Uh basically it shuffles where people are in the rows. So now I've got two mages up front, not great. Alright, uh, now Kime's the only one in front. Yeah, we need Cook to be able to cast the other type of defensive thing. So about that save, what save point? Agent Fiend's counter deactivated. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. If I tried to go, if I tried to go for the main boss, this thing would have done random extra hits. That's that's fucked. Understandable though. Keystone B now. Uh, let's let's hold out hope that it does that it does not uh, revive them very quickly. the remaining health based on the EGC up there. Ooh, that's a big roll. And shuffle, what are we gonna get? Uh, okay, this is scuffed. I will say this, our front row's uh, guard condition is way better now, actually. Don't have to worry about that. Okay, yay, yay, we can fight it now. All right, let's fight the Falsy now. Let's 
Wait, hold on. What were you doing? Do oh. oh. <laughs> I was rushing through it. I was having you put on the same thing. No, uh, I will have you do all barricades because I know you died, which means you don't have it. Yeah, this is reminding me of Dahaka a little bit. Alright, I'm interested. How much health does this thing have? Uh, about 15,000. 15, 15, 880. I'm not tracking it, but at the very least, it's not as big as the dinosaur that was in disc 3 that had like 20k. We just need to keep up this tempo. There we go. Someone absorbed it. Bring on the hits. A bit of a low roll. We're gonna do two low zephyrs just so we can get the health to come in faster. The more expensive the spell, the longer it takes in the cast turn bar, so we I kinda wanna quickly. Even if it's lesser. Alright, and now we can hit three times. Uh, no fan fest reactions for me this time. I'm gonna be playing this today. I'm excited for everyone else, though. I hope they enjoy big reveals and, uh, how good the Femme Hrothgar are gonna look. Got it. Alright, this is gonna hurt, but it's whatever. We're pretty much on cruise control. This fight, I think, is essentially won. Yep, definitely. Crunch. Ooh, what horrible rolls. He's out of combo. Alright, we open with a big heal. Admit it, you were sweating at that lost cast. I was staring at it. <laughs> that dude has like 400 health. I knew it. Re Reverse just dealt all the damage he had been dealt, and I knew his health his health bar was at 15,880, so he was 4 400 off. He just dealt all of his missing HP at once. What a fucking prick. We take those. Watch out! Guys, stop it! Look at that. He did it all just to get the stone. You could learn from him. I see. You could learn from Jansen, dude. Uh. Meanwhile, here. Ah, we're back on the ship. Cool. Captain said, "Can I hold it?" I don't know. It's dangerous. 
explode if you drop it. A little dangerous? I mean, that thing could kill us all. Yeah. Here, catch! Got it! Tolton, why didn't you catch it? He, he said it was going to explode! Oh, he's hopeless. <laughs> I don't need that. Mean. You're welcome. Enough fooling around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about him. I don't think he was breastfed. <laughs> well, you get kind of cranky when you're a thousand years old. What is with this guy? <laughs> Go Magic Catalyst. Who wrote Jansen's dialogue? They told him to improv. For a lot of it. He had experience in stand-up and, uh... And, and theater and some other things. So I imagine that, that really contributed. Back to the ocean floor. In case people didn't tune in, we our ship, like... Is a submarine ship plane thing. Got a lot of stuff. Go for it. Okay, the ship can break through hypercurrents now, it looks like. That's good. What is this circle over here? Oh, it's my old ship. Oh, okay, it's the other one. game sell well, I have no idea how it's sold at all. That I have no idea. Yes, that feels like a Sid send-up in some, some ways, given the fact that he knows about mechanical stuff also. Okay, what are we looking at here? We could head, uh, head left. Do something like that, yeah. Oh yeah, we're able to save too. Let's see, what's our what's our roster looking like? Oh, our formation is horrible because they were mean to me. Alright, let me save and then I'll be right back. Need to Need to use the bathroom real quick and then we'll see whatever else we have to do next. Guess I can run an ad or something. Then uh, I'll be right back.
Ah, hello, chat. Granted, people being served an ad are still in one, but it's okay. I can menu a little bit. Are we winning, chat? I am. That's great. What do you have access to? You don't really have access to a lot of stuff. Let me give you something with black magic. I feel like that might be pretty good. I found the real Vinland, but don't want to post because it'll spoil Vinland Saga. That is true, yeah. That's why I can't Google about those people. I'm like, I can't I can't know yet. Vibrating from now until I see the new Dawn Trail. The full Dawn Trail trailer, yeah. Excited for, uh, excited for potential green mage stuff. Yo, Ben Lasaga is real. Uh, yeah, it's about the stories and all that stuff about Vikings and everything going on over there. Not, uh, a lot of it, you know, is information is lost, so you can kind of, like, take, they can kind of take some creative liberties and stuff. It's like historical fiction. I highly recommend the show. Both seasons are great. Oh no! Oh god damn it! This makes sense. These are the things that got petrified only because uh, Ming's me uh, agreed to have her memory wiped. So I guess because her memory's back, they're just allowed to be unpetrified. What is that? That's not great. Arthrosaurus. Wasn't that turned into stone? In exchange for the stealing of her memories, right? It's a trap set by Gungora. He devised it so that all Thesaurus would revive when my memories returned. Said land in Numara. Aye, aye. This time, Ming, we're going to help you protect your kingdom. Let's go! It's like FF7 weapons, but it's also very much like FF10, where we're maybe fighting them on the ship. Should I whip up a pin mess and not uh, do the keynotes so people uh, upload the hate? Yeah, you might as well put some some pin. Uh, or, I'm fine with people talking about it. Yeah, it's fine. People will say shit. It's all good. I'm, I don't really care for spoilers for it, you know? So it's no big deal for me. But thank you for the offer. I do appreciate that. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? That thing's huge, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, fucking Jesus. Uh, stand firm, reduce GC loss when attacked for a short while. Sure, take that. Combo it. Actually, hold on. What's this... God's sake. Oh. Oh, it's Jason. Yeah, I really can't believe this character is just fucking Jason. It's crazy. Apparently, there is a spell that this, this thing is, uh, thing is susceptible to. Sleepy time, baby. Okay. <laughs> that rules. <laughs> Great, I woke it up with the hit, but I but anything to disrupt their turns as much as I can. Oh, you completely petrify and hit. That's, uh, real bad. Oh man, your power does not compare. Your sword must be pretty bad. It's okay, I'll have you gambling going forward. Uh, unpetrify him with Stone Beast Thorn. Put him back to sleep. Uh, put up all barricades. 
case it starts doing magic. In Japan, it sold 100,000 by February 2008. Came out in December 2007. In North America, sold 200,000 February. Month of release. And it seemed to do okay. Not not amazing, but I don't think they were expecting this to pull millions. I don't imagine. Oh, did Mac get reparalyzed? Jesus wept. Whatever, he's in the front row. Somebody's got to take the bumps. Yay, it didn't happen. Yeah, you can finally attack again. Alright. Oh, sleep. Your turn is now off. Yeah! You ain't doing shit this turn. Okay, time's the only one doing physicals now. I've now I've now measured how much you can do and it's not enough. Get the gambles in, get the sleep in, get the healing. Oh, did, is Sarah going before you? That's really unfortunate. Well, say goodbye to your turn. Looks like it's heads down. That did it! Take that, evil kaiju. You see what I did? Apparently that thing wasn't that strong. Couldn't even get a full level off that ass. Say, is that bulkhead? Big Hulk head for the city. View the Anthrosaurus attack to the, the what? Oh no, there's more of them. Oh yeah, oh shit. The revived Anthrosaurus pack will attack the city. Defeat them before they reach the city limits. The game is over if a single one reaches the capital. Approach any Anthrosaurus to begin a battle. You must defeat each one as quickly as possible. Sleeping Anthrosaurus will stop moving for a while. Defeat them while they're sleeping. You can find treasure in the fish bed during this minigame. Try to pick them up. No. Oh, they turned off saving for this, too. They're like, okay, get to it. Disc four of this popping off pretty hard. speed up. Sleep. And all shield us. Alright, let's go. Think as quickly as possible, huh? As you'll notice there, the map's still up. I think they're timing even my inputs. Yep, go. Alright. 
Only thing we have to adjust in terms of turns without just going auto uh, moving forward is going to be Cook. There we go. No turn for you. Let's go. I specifically sped her up in an attempt to make her always go first so she can always sleep him and cancel his turns. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't have much in terms of, like, big, big damage, it looks like. Uh, okay, you can go for an attack, then. Oh, shit, you're going first. Not good. And completely petrified. That sucks. hurt you at all? Yes, cool. All right, take it out. I know what they want me to do now. I just figured out what the gimmick of this is. Hold on. We'll be doing something a little bit different coming up. something that will make this a little bit more convenient. Oh, that was a horrible roll. One down. Oh, jeez, they're gaining on you. Yeah, tragically, I did not understand what the method was, but now I do. So, chat, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to adjust the party very slightly here. We're going to... We're gonna get set in. <laughs> we're gonna get set in. We're gonna cast sleep on them, and then we're going to leave. <laughs> be inactive for a bit. That'll give us some time. Let's set this up on the other one, then we'll hit the uh, hit the one and actually fight in earnest, the one next to it. This is still going to be tight. I did not do this at the start, so I'm at a bit of a disadvantage, so we might still lose, but I'll do my best. I'm out of here. Alright, 
quickly. Let's change formation. We do not need him in the main party, though. Uh, honestly, we, w we want more DPS. Get you in there. Uh, swap you up for Ming. Are they long, how long are they sleep for? I have no idea. Wait, I thought I put the other one to sleep. It's still red. Hmm. Weird. Well, we still gotta keep going. Woke up. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't even hit him. Don't know how that happened. I guess Forza. They can wake up on their own. Oh, that's rough. Well, we'll we'll just we'll just try and play fast. All we need to do is be able to kill these two in the front. If we can kill these two in the front fast enough, the entire thing ends. You're past me. Uh, my bad. This game's crazy. Keep gambling or forcing. Okay, people are getting petrified constantly. We're going to have to cure some of that. As much as I want to kill him fast, we cannot wipe. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's have you here heal off somebody. Hold on. Let's make sure you targeted the right person. Okay, good. I always get worried that they're like, uh, you used it on yourself. Uh, get fucked. Get it on them. Forza. Let's go. Bit of a bunt on this turn. Mac is frozen. It's okay. We'll, we'll do it. Nice and absorbed. You get nothing. Our gambles are actually low rolling a lot now. Thankfully, Jansen gets a guaranteed 1k hit, so I'll give him that. Combo. Gamble. Alright, fuck him up. The other one woke up and is not moving. And I'm going to be grateful for that event. Maybe they just didn't change the icon properly and it is affected by sleep. Yeah! Alright, that's three down. Oh, you're moving now. Fuck you. <laughs> Just, Just focus on me. Just focus on me, big baby. Yeah, I think we're pretty much set now. We are now in a position where we're really good. Power up time. Gamble. Gamble. 
sleep. Forza. Gamble. But at the beginning, I was very worried because I did not want to have to fight the first one again or fight a bunch of these, then refight them. But we're pretty good now. Ugh. What a horrible roll, dude. Come on, man. The other one still isn't awake, yeah. The kind of shit I'm counting on. Quit that, actually. Oh, I was about to say you can only gamble. My bad. I thought you were one of the people that has other options. You also don't have very high uh, stuff on here, either. Eh, gamble then. Why not? I was hoping other people could use Forza the same way he can, but it doesn't look like anyone else except... Okay, Ming can. Yeah, a lot of things tend to copy Final Fantasy, so I'm glad that they did not do that. Holy fucking shit! What do you mean you could be doing? What do you mean you could do that the whole time? Bro's been holding out on me all day. I didn't know you were real like that, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, let's, uh, let's adapt. Put him to sleep now. <laughs> okay. And hope he doesn't do it again. Okay, no turn for you. I wasn't familiar with your game. Okay, you can heal yourself again. The two in the back can focus on DPS. We'll do about 2200 between them. There we go. This shouldn't kill time if it goes again. And it's not getting turned. We're set. We're, we're comfortable. Oh shit, the one up top woke up. I'll go to meet, it a meet him in a minute. Thank you for getting priority so much. I let this dude hit me hard once and said never again. You're just banned from hurting me. Okay, this turn it's over. There's no way this thing's living another 4k. Okay, that's four down, one to go. Fuck up the fifth one of these things. Alright, let's get ourselves in top condition for it. Alright, let's uh, complete our saving of Numara now. Thank you. But if it's all the same to you, I think I need to go save the cat. First up, let's uh, let's get you in tip-top condition. You're gonna gamble. You're gonna put him to sleep. You're gonna and you two are gonna do this move that hits. Me. 
The capital can save itself. I, I wish it could, but it'll game over me, so I have to go save them. This song hit does for the Christmas bells. Do not underestimate what sounds Nobuo Uematsu will use. You give this man a cowbell, anything can happen. Oh boy. Yay, it didn't petrify. That's all I need. I'm fine with you hurting me so long as you don't do that. Now you see, we are strong. Alright. We're, we're a team of three immortals. Our power level is huge. Also, that military is led by General Kakanis, and as we've established, he is a dipshit and bisexual Heihachi. He can't stand up to this. Oh, you got petrified before you could pop your attack buff. That's why your damage is lower. Huh. Bisexual Heihachi from Atlanta, yeah. Okay. Done. Yay, it didn't do it. Thank God. The proc is so scary. Kakanas would absolutely job to these guys, so we need to take care of it. In position. And yeah, we're, we're pretty much locking this shit up tight. Oh, we did it! We, we saved, we saved from the catastrophe. Get fucked, Gungora. We defeated the Arthrosaurus. Sure did. Lucky for us, huh? Yeah, thank you. That takes care of that. Let's we'll see what's going on back in Numara. Oh. Okay, they refreshed us, thank God. Let's save. Wait for the guitar? Sure. This is, uh, yeah, this is disc four. We, we broke into disc four after the boss of near the start of the stream. There it is. There's City of Numara. Alright, we will click that uh, once we get through the loop of this overworld theme. Gives me time to relax and collect myself. And grab a drink. Give this bro a guitar for being silly.
Yeah, I'm sure some people completely miss it. It, it comes in at like what, a minute 40 in. Huh. Last time we were here, people hated our ass. I imagine they still do. Welcome back, my queen. Yeah, oh shit, she's back. Sorry, uh, sorry, I had to tap out for, for a few hours. Okay, so they're actually gonna finish that plot line, so we're probably gonna beat the shit out of Kakanas and fucking call it for him. Dude's fucking so good. Ah, uh, this is just a normal inn. I need to find, like, a normal shop if I was looking for something. Uh, this might be a fight, though. If anything like the last one, so. It's okay, this team is pretty airtight. He's a funny guy, but unfortunately his entire role in the story was he wanted to engineer more, more war and make a coup so he could become the, uh, the leader of the nation. But unfortunately, Ming is uh, very powerful and has ruled this place for a thousand years, so we're going to have to kill him and slap him in. Uh, if I could describe anything about what his what the role of uh, Kakanis is in the story, he's Pete from Kingdom Hearts. And here he is! I, it. I speak with a majesty's voice. Don't panic. Let's see how this plays out. Welcome home, your majesty. Ooh, what's the play? Thank you all for bringing our queen home to us unharmed. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Neither did I. There must be a play. Huh? General, I have caused you concern. I ask that you look at me. All of our people prayed for your safe return every day you were away from us. I am truly pleased. Indeed. You must be tired from your long journey. Please, rest and refresh yourself. I don't think your plan is very I good. I shall never relinquish my hold on it. Ha, I think I'll see just how immortal our queen really is. Dude, you're fucking doomed. <laughs> oh, do you see now? Numara is mine. The people of Numara belong to no one. Your... Your majesty? You just assumed we were in the building. General, you are such a fool. Yeah, yeah, that theme would work here for this Those guy. Those who cannot conquer their desires shall never be fit to lead. How pathetic you are. 
Okay, let's kill him. Are you some kind of beast? No, they're tanks. All right, let's get to work. Ah, oh, it's got meters on it. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. Uh. Uh. Right, buff up time. Uh. You know what? No. Uh. Give Give Jansen more energy. Yeah. Do that. Oh, yeah, you, you don't need to put things to sleep anymore. Uh, start gambling. We'll start on the right. I always go left. Switch it up a little bit. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna need shields. Put some shields up, too. I hit man with your mission in Vinland. That's great, dude. Second half goes so hard. Chap, they're sucking my MP up. I'm getting angry. <laughs> I do not appreciate this behavior. I can't fucking do my opener now. God damn it. Oh no! Oh no! Holy shit! Okay, let's make sure they don't charge that again, because we will just die. Alright, good start, everybody. Good start, good start, good start. Alright, uh, fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. A bunch of people are going to die through this turn. They're gonna get like four hits. I did not have enough spell speed to get shit. Oh, this is horrible! <laughs> we just lose. I didn't know he was he was free like that. As it turns out, the only way he won was stealing all of my magic. <laughs> And being able to do one-shots over and over again. I find that to be cheating, frankly. Okay, we'll see what the guide says to do. The opening note. This should be easier than any of the Anthrosaurus. And I say, that is incorrect. Or incorrect with your assessment. Well, that is wrong. It is not easy. The things I just fought. The things I just fought went down in almost effortlessly. This instantly killed me. <laughs> I believe that you are wrong in your assessment that this would not be this would not be hard. Let's do it again though. We can just hit skip cutscene and then immediately we're in. That was bad. I hate that their opener was this ain't shit. I'm like, I disagree. That hurt. Do it again. Yes, we have no choice. Oh, I really don't like. Prep, prep, yeah, prep the heals in advance. There we go, no GC will go down when he gets hit. It all comes down to how much health the right tank has. Uh, 
that's the big problem is if, if all they need is like 100 MP to do that. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, this is another loss. I'm interested. Let me look at what other guys say about this boss. I'm very interested in what they have to say about this hopeless, uh, this hopeless situation. I'm Shit, you guys live. That's crazy. That that's great. Anyway, we're going to lose. There there's literally no open clear. So uh, the, this opening guide here went. Easy. Bring fireproof skills, and you've immediately won. I guess it's because this cannon uh, considers its element fire. Yeah, fireproof negates it. I don't even know where fireproof is, but I'll look around for it. Hey, Beldum. What's up, Beldum? Retry from the last checkpoint? Yeah, so it'll just throw me away from the place. The other option would be to quit. All right, let's go look at everyone's skills. Hold on. Apparently from a side quest, uh, we might have to end soon. That's unfortunate. Hold on. Somebody has something. I, I now remember. One of us has a skill that'll stop this. Is it you? Yeah. I think it's you. Absorb guard. Nullifies enemy HP and MP absorption. Looks like that might just stop it. Oh, it definitely does, because this says occasionally. This just says it does. Yeah, that'll do it. That's the key. The key is that I would have to get... It, we could do a makeup that would be like four immortals that have already learned this. It just comes down to uh, one. Let's change the formation to have specifically four immortals for it. I need a way to test it, though. I wouldn't feel comfortable unless I fully tested it properly. Ah, oh, damn it. They don't let me make people leave parties, it looks like. Would have liked that, because then it would be easier for me to, to test it by just having it on him. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, you, you get out. To do it, I would need you in change. And then have people link with it. Alright, how long is uh, Absorb Guard? 10. That actually is not bad. I thought it was going to be like 50. Alright. This is, this is our quick and dirty way to try and clear this quickly. Let's go to an earlier area and uh, grind up SP. Thankfully, it won't take very long. All we need is 10 points. 10 points is like three or four fights at worst.
to get this chat. One of two things is going to happen. You know, there are, there are, actually, there are three roads that this will lead to. All right. Road one. The successful road. This is where I get that skill on everybody, and they try to suck it up, and the meter doesn't go up, and we're good. We don't lose MP, they don't gain anything, they can't set me on fire. Road two. I don't lose anything, <laughs> but it still gets meter and still kills me. That's, that's road two. Road three, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> and I'm going to hope in my heart, ideally, that it's going to be option one. So we're going to hope for the best, hope that it's option one, and that I don't cry like a baby. Let me examine this thing. Tolton apparently can activate these. I'm going to get a bunch of these off screen, by the way. Royal seal broken. An ordeal that a king must endure to be crowned. The one who releases eight seals and obtains seven treasures shall challenge the Urin King's ordeal in this land. Royal Knight Emblem. They're not good odds. But if it but if it works the way I hope it does, this should turn off the, the main thing that makes them so difficult. Royal Knight Emblem. HP max up by four. It gives him 664 more magic. More HP, shit. Dude, dude is dude is stacked. Oh man, oh man. Every everything for the royal kings, guys. Cause you know what? Come on, I know what you really want to see. <laughs> Final Fantasy 15. That's true, dude. Thank you, Richard. No one gets to do it. Okay, let's clear them out. They shouldn't be very difficult, because they're, like, fucking 18 dungeons ago. Attack. 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 And the... Okay. Yeah. Bam it! It's over! Oops, I was taking a drink. Oh, we almost got it. Alright, show me the SP. You better not have scaled it to zero, or I will yell at you. You didn't! Wow, that means I can fight... That means I should just fight enemies in earlier dungeons. Because once you hit level cap for zones, I might as well go to an earlier area if I just want to, like, brain dead get through shit fast if I want to get my, uh... Abilities unlocked. If it's a fight you want, you got it. Okay, it's a ten, so we need six more points. Right, we can auto through the rest. Yeah, that seems to be the plan. Experience is, is important, but the game has such a scaling that you're only gaining about two to three levels per new zone. Oh shit, he's jumping. Don't! It's okay, you only took three. Eyes ah, out. Okay, there you go. in a dungeon that was from disc one. <laughs> the only struggle that happens in this game is that the encounter rate is so nice, you'll just run for a mile and not get anything. Hold on, let's let's try to stay toward the front. Cause I'll complain if I get into an additional one on the way out. There's no skill to increase encounter right now. I mean it's not a big deal. I'd rather it be like this for it to be constant, because if it was constant when I'm traversing dungeons, I'd get angry. 
No, I'm not gonna. I won't give him. No, I won't give him any shit. Anyway, this should be the one to lock us up, and then we can go back and see if my plan works or not. I really hope it does, because it is different from what the guy, the guy's plans are. But I'm like, don't worry. I saw hidden text. I'm an intelligent man. I've got plans. Only the strong. <sighs> now there's a save outside New Mar. We can do. Now hold on here. There we go. We got it. Power hit doesn't really matter. Absorb. Absorb guard. Oh, we don't need that. Absorb guard. Uh. Uh, we can we can get rid of absorb attack. Absorb guard is way more important. Also, absorb attack is occasional. This specifically in its in its wording set, just says it nullifies it. They're very and just like this randomly. Absorb guard. But so based upon the language that they've given me today, this should be all I need to win. Or at the very least, be allowed to do the fight beyond turn one. Okay. All right. Let's sprint our way up to the front. Of the many options available, I'm thinking most likely it'll be option two. But for now, I'm going to believe that option one will win. Yeah, we just gotta skip a few cutscenes now and then we're, we're good to go. Got to, I was I was mashing through them. Okay. Now I know you saw me run earlier, Kakatas, but just know that I'm ready to fuck you up. The Goon Squad has arrived. Forward march. Keep hitting the right one. The right one's the one trying to do the whole thing anyway. And, and you, um, you're gonna. We're going to run on the idea that, that they're not going to be able to do anything to me. Here we go! It took the tank stuff. But it didn't do the cannon. I think we're good. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's, let's wait. Let's hold out. Clearly, it was, you know, I was doing it for the right one. I think we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. He's just doing a full charge hit. You see, the, you see the cannon's all that matters. The cannon's what's gonna end my life. See, look, it did, it's not doing it. It's not doing the move. <laughs> see, boom, boom. That's fully charged. It didn't do. It didn't, it didn't do nothing. See, he's just doing Volcanon over and over. Could just get, let's 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 just let's just have some positive positive reinforcement here. Go in and break them. Yeah. Uh, you young lady is going to uh, Zafira us, and uh, and you're not gonna see his tank support. Oh, I don't care about tank support.
That's a good hit. That's like a very good hit, in fact. These aren't good hits. It's all good. It's just volcanic. That will eventually kill people, but right now, oh god, here it comes again. <laughs> Ow! Okay, now it's gonna do a full charge hit, and we're gonna hope it's time because that would be the best scenario for us. Uh, that's Seth. I forgot you're a misogynist. I forgot about that part Where of the game. Yeah! Okay, I think we're I think we're fucking good now. His most powerful attack cannot come out now. We just need to not fumble through the rest of this. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I was literally my mind going, so am I ending the stream in a few minutes? <laughs> Let's go, the heel went off! We're we're set now. Let's go. Oh, you're so doomed. These things seem to have like four or five thousand HP. I imagine the one, the other one has more, but all we need to focus on is getting rid of them. I can only assume, based on the fact that it always opens with charging the cannon, that it just couldn't work on the right one. That or we are indeed, and whatever, I'll take it. I'll take whatever it is. Uh, whatever it is that makes you go to the SK that you win to the coolest. I'm like, thank you. Thank you, my penis lord. Haha! <laughs> 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 oh, I'm gonna love Tate. I talked shit about this guy, and he immediately rocked me, and now I'm just mad at him. I'm like, you made me look stupid. Uh, take out the cannon. Oh yeah, we should target the cannon, then. <laughs> nice try, I guess. So long as you can avoid the cannon thing, it'll be fine. And now the cannon's entirely shut down. We only have to deal with the thing. Okay. We can now be on cruise control for the rest of the fight. Because there's no way you can do enough spread without a gun. Because, yeah, if the cannon goes off at full power, it looked like it did about 2,000 to the front and, like, a lot to the back. It's real bad. It's such a now. Now that now that the crisis has ended. Your Majesty, <laughs> haven't you seen the state of the world? With pacifism as our only policy, we 
we will never be perceived as equal to other nations. In truth, the day is coming soon when we will be forced to capitulate. Yes, I realized after seeing the world that sometimes power is needed. But General, the power you see is power only for yourself. That is why it is weak. We won. For reference, this tank isn't that much stronger than the other one. Yay! Get fucked, loser! Your Majesty! I am 800 years old! <laughs> Sorry, we failed to anticipate Kakana's scheme. It's not your fault. I was too lenient with him by far. I afforded him the opportunity to run unchecked, and for that, the responsibility is mine. Don't blame yourself. He's right. I mean, that general is twisted. And yet. Even he, too, is another of Gongora's many victims. Yeah, he does really well by himself. <coughs> your Majesty, may I know the names of your companions? Oh, yes. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced you. These are my loyal ladies-in-waiting. Maya here is my chief lady-in-waiting. Greetings and welcome to Numara. We are honored. Maya? These people have become my dear friends and should be treated with the greatest courtesy. We are all working for a common goal, and we have an urgent mission to complete. A mission? And what of Numara, your majesty? Your Majesty? Until I carry out this mission, I shall have to be away from my people. During that time, I shall entrust Numara to the care of my ladies. Oh, to us, Your Majesty? Please do as I would. As you have been closest to me, I believe you are capable of what I ask. I shall return as swiftly as possible. Yes, my queen. While your majesty is away, we shall protect Numara. We shall not fail. Oh, okay. Guess we'll get one for her, I guess. The Queen's Loneliness. A thousand years can change everything, including the landscape. Queen Ming surveys her capital from the palace window. The panoramic view is like a great history book. The volcano towering in the distance, which used to spew clouds of smoke, went dormant uh, about 700 years ago. 300 years, 400 years, 500 years ago. Once part of the sea, the inlet was reclaimed 500 years ago to become a village for the fisher folk who spend their lives on the ocean. The river once arched grandly across the landscape, but the deluge that occurred 300 years ago became the occasion for major flood control construction in the form of a perfectly straight channel where the river used to curve. There is now an oxbow lake which reeds grow in profusion, and the banks provide the people with a rich natural bounty.
Even the area that formerly was a barren, rock-strewn wasteland became a vast fruit-bearing garden thanks to the irrigation project that was undertaken 200 years ago. The mountain that was the center of people's religious faith was enveloped in sky-scorching flames 100 years ago. Formerly swathed in a thick green covering and seen as the home of the gods, the towering peak was transformed into a bare rock pile by a forest fire that burned for three days and nights. Almost everything that lived in the forest, birds and beasts of course, but many people, too, died in the flames. The people in the village below mourned the horrible transformation of their god's abode, but now, a hundred years later, the mountain is as green as ever. The people of the village and the people of the mountain still tell the story of the fire, but today's children can hardly imagine that the rich green slopes were once charred and blackened. Restored, though it is, to its original green lushness, of course, the mountain could well be enveloped in flames again. A hundred years from now, two hundred years from now, or even tomorrow. Even if it should be charred bare again, however, trees would sprout anew. The birds and beasts and insects chased away by the fire would return to their homes, and given enough time, the mountain would be covered in green as before. Such are the workings of nature. Given enough time, dizzying stretches of time. But no. To become dizzy at the thought of vast stretches of time is a privilege of the ordinary folk, those who have no choice but to devote all their energies to living in the present. How fortunate they are to be able to look back to the past of a thousand years ago like an old man telling a child a fairy tale. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago. And how truly fortunate one would be to be able to tell the story of this country's future as a rosy dream, the way children relate their own dreams of the future with flashing eyes and to entrust that dream to the next rain. Ming stands at the window like this every morning. It is a special time of day for her when she thinks about the livelihood of her subjects, watches for signs of enemy intrusions, and ponders measures she might wish to adopt. She's done this every day without fail for the past thousand years. The country has flourished. The people no longer starve as they did when she first took the throne. Future historians will no doubt sing the praises of Ming's thousand-year reign. She'll be extolled as the thousand-year-old queen, and her noble figure will be vividly ingrained in people's memories. Cherishing these memories of her, however, people will die before she does. The historians who praise her too, instead of witnessing her reign to its end, will themselves become a part of history. Ming has been queen for the past thousand years, and probably will be for the next thousand years as well. Her Majesty is in excellent spirits again this morning, I trust. She hears the voice behind her, her gaze still fixed on the streets of the city below. Ming answers, You're early today. Not so early if Her Majesty herself is already observing the smoke rising from the cauldrons of her people. She need not turn to ascertain the identity of the smiling face behind her. It belongs to Negram, her senior minister. The smile is courtly, genial, but deep within the narrowed eyes, she knows there resides a dark gleam. Today, I will accompany Her Majesty in the inspection of the troops. You? Yes. Owing to a slight change in assignments today. Is that so? I am hardly up to the task, but I will do my best if Her Majesty would allow me to serve her in this capacity. I beg her permission. With her back still turned to Nagram, Ming gives a slight nod. Ah, yes, she thinks to herself with a bitter smile. Their plan goes into action today. Ming has sensed it for a very long time that Nagram is up to no good. He apparently has seized command of certain units of the Royal Guard, scattered throughout the city, too. His people are lying low, ready to set fires as soon as his orders come down. No doubt about it, today, when the regular ceremonial inspection of the troops is scheduled to take place, is the perfect day for a coup. I like how they decided, you know, after we've defeated Kakanis, we're going to make a dream about how Ming deals with this regularly and always seems to win. Just to let you know the Kakanis ain't shit, uh, we've done this before. When Negrom leaves, Ming enters her office and summons uh, Hannes, the most senior of her ministers, a true elder statesman and her most trusted confidant. Hannes, who sports a luxurious beard, has served Ming for over 40 years. Your Majesty, I understand Negrom was here earlier. Yes, apparently. He is to accompany me to the inspection of the troops. 
This is all she has to tell him. Stroking his bushy beard, Hana says, That means they've run out of patience. I know, replies Ming. I'm sure they can't wait to get started. What a fool Nagram is. He has absolutely no idea that your majesty has been letting him set his own trap. If he were smart enough to realize that, he would be taking at least two more years to make his preparations. Then he would have so much more power at his disposal. He could link up not just with the royal guard, but the main body of the army and the police force. He could conspire with external enemies and arrange for them to invade just as the ceremonies were getting underway. Then his coup would probably succeed. If he had the long-range vision to include the wealthy merchants and the intelligentsia among his allies, he might even be able to mount a revolution that could overthrow the monarchy itself. That is what I would do if I were Negrom. As long as I was undertaking a coup, I would think about that much at least. Honest smile could not hide the fact that all this talk of successful revolution was making him uncomfortable. Her Majesty is unmatched by any en enemy except one. Her Majesty herself. He may be right, Ming thinks. If she had an enemy with an internal life like hers who was willing to devote all the time needed to planning a revolution, be it a whole century or even two, the result would surely go beyond revolution and develop into a full-scale civil war. Human lives, however, are limited in duration. And because of this limitation, humans rush to achieve results before they are ready. Nagram is one of them. If he could live 200 years, to say nothing of a thousand, he would not be trying to take up arms at such an in-between point in time. Still, says Hannes. I have to admit that Nagram has extended his forces far more successfully than I ever imagined. What have I been doing all this time? I am utterly ashamed of myself. Don't let it bother you, Hannes. Thanks to your inattention, we will probably be able to smoke out many more rats. Ming gives a satisfied chuckle. Nor is this mere bravado on her part. They chose not to arrest Negrom at an earlier stage, but allowed him to swim free for a while in order to take this opportunity to net the entire force of rebels, both inside and outside the palace. Yes, I know, Hannes replies and goes on to explain the plan for crushing the coup. His plans are impeccable. The coup has virtually no chance of succeeding. All they need to do is carry out a wholesale arrest of the rebel royal guards units that rise up in the palace and the partisans lurking in the city, and it will be some time before any more individuals with outsized ambition show up again. This will be our first purge in 15 years, Hannes remarks. Has it been that long? It certainly has, your majesty. This fine beard of mine was jet black last time. Hannes commanded the troops that put down the coup 15 years ago. Loyal, courageous, and cool-headed, he is the ideal staff officer. Without a doubt, he is one of the very best military advisors Ming has had in over a thousand years on the throne. How selfish of me, Hannes. I should have let you retire years ago. That is out of the question, your majesty. Serving you is my life. I am deeply honored to have this final opportunity to be of service. True. Not even this superb retainer could be with her through all eternity. In another five years, ten at most, Hannes, like other loyal retainers in the past, will be laid to rest to the sound of military cannons. It is always like this. Just as the ambitious ones run to make their mark because they cannot live forever, the loyal ones in whom she can place her complete confidence stake their very lives on serving her because they cannot live forever. They carve their names in a single line of history, and then they depart from Ming for the rest of eternity. Ming herself, though, goes on living. Eternal youth, immortality. So this is the dream of humanity, is it? None of them knows the loneliness of eternal life. When Hannes next addresses Ming, there is a new urgency in his voice. About the troops that will quell the uprising, I will command the ones outside the palace. Do I have Her Majesty's permission to put the command of the interior palace guards in the hands of my young protege, Yan? Ah yes, Jan. He may be young, but he is extremely capable. I have nurtured him carefully. I know he will serve Her Majesty splendidly after this old soldier is gone. I would like to give him the opportunity to distinguish himself in the current emergency. Ming herself is fully aware of Jan's outstanding qualities. Young as he most certainly is, he far excels the other chamberlains in both the civil and military arts. He is undoubtedly the prime candidate to succeed Hannes as Ming's top general. 
What are Her Majesty's thoughts on the matter? All right, then. Let him take charge. Her Majesty has my unbounded thanks. I'm sure Jan himself will be deeply moved to learn that he has earned Her Majesty's confidence. Hannes all but prostrates himself before her, an expression of relief on his face at having obtained Ming's permission. But still, he continues, Her Majesty has been wary of Nagram for a very long time. True, she says. Meanwhile, this old soldier of yours had no idea or whatever that Nagram might be planning a rebellion. I'm deeply ashamed to confess it now, but to me, he seemed the very model of loyalty. How is it that Her Majesty was able to see Nagram's actual disloyalty? Ming only smiles without answering his question. Yeah, it's bedtime for people. I'm helping them out. The same thing happened at the time of the coup 15 years ago, Hannes continues. The only reason they were able to suppress the revolt before it even got started was that Her Majesty saw it coming before anyone else. Then, as now, I was blind to the traitor's plot. If you say so, Hans. Has Her Majesty forgotten? Well, it was so long ago. Ming tries to evade the issue. There's no way she could have forgotten. The ringleader of the coup 15 years ago was her most trusted retainer. When she first broached the subject to Hannes and the others, warning them to be on their guard against the man, all without exception insisted that he, above all, was beyond reproach. In the end, Ming's suspicions proved to be correct. She knew. However faithfully he carried out her orders, however, warmly he swore his loyalty, she knew. These days, however, she has begun to wonder on occasion if that is something to be grateful for. The landscape is not the only thing that changes in a thousand years. People's hearts also change. After numberless meetings and partings over the centuries, Ming has come to realize the fragility, the evanescence of trust. She no longer trusts anything in words. Neither can she fully trust everything in action. She knows by looking at a person's eyes. That way she can tell everything to a mysterious and disheartening degree. In the eyes of all those who would bring harm to this country without exception, there resides a dark gleam. It is there in all of them. The man plotting a coup, the man secretly involved with foreign enemies, the man fattening his purse with heavy taxes wrung from the people, the female spy who seduces high ministers to extract state secrets, the man who accepts huge bribes from merchants eager for the glory of becoming an official purveyor to the royal household. Neither their words nor their deeds give them away. Often, the man himself has no idea of the misdeeds he will later commit. But Ming can tell. Only Ming, who has lived for a thousand years. The silent voices tell her, Be careful of this man. Don't take your eyes off that woman. This was not the case in her youth, but having repeatedly tasted the bitter experience of betrayal, having been assailed by her own regrets and self-reproach, she has learned to doubt. Ming can see what no one else can. That dark gleam deep in the eyes. This has enabled her to ward off a variety of disasters before they could start. The kingdom has managed to flourish because Ming has more often chosen to doubt than to believe. This is the best course for her to follow as a queen. It is, however, an infinitely lonely way to live. The Grom's coup collapses in an instant. The rebel units of the Royal Guard, who draw their swords against Ming during the inspection of the troops in the plaza, become the prey of Yan and his men, who have been hiding around the perimeter. Meanwhile, the anti-rebel forces under Hanna's command pounce on Nagram's followers who have been gathering to set fire to the city and arrest them without resistance. Poor Nagram grovels on the earth, begging for his life. To him, Ming says only, I grant you the right to die with honor. A soldier lays a sword before Nagram. Wordlessly, Ming conveys to Nagram that it is time for him to take his own life. She turns on her heels and returns to the palace under armed escort. This will keep anyone from having thoughts of tormenting a rebellion, for a while at least. The peace of the kingdom has been preserved, but it will not last forever. When the memory of Nagram's coup begins to fade ten years from now, or twenty, or even a hundred, another man with ambition will emerge, as has happened so many times before. It is the role of the queen to accept this endlessly repeating cycle, Ming tells herself, sighing. Ming is standing at the palace window, surveying the city streets below, when Yan enters the room. 
Your Majesty, I'm here to report that Agram successfully took his own life a short while ago. Oh? Did he dispatch himself with dignity? He did. Traitor though he was, he died in a way befitting a commanding general. Return his body to his family with all due ceremony. She turns and stares straight at Jan, whose spine stiffens under the onslaught of her gaze. And then she sees it. Without a doubt, that dark gleam flashes deep within his eyes for one fleeting instant. So Jan is another one, is he? She thinks with a bitter smile. Unable to fathom the meaning of her smile, Jan is at a loss for words. Thank you for all your efforts, Minx says to him. Suppressing a sigh, she turns to the window again. The sky stretches overhead in an expanse of blue. The only thing unchanged for the past thousand years may be the blue of that sky. But still, I am the queen, Ming tells herself, meditating on her role. I am the one who rules this country and maintains the people's happiness. She gazes long and hard at the sky, rising to her full, proud height. 5-8. Oh look, it's Queen Ming! Little boy in an alleyway below the castle spots Ming and begins waving at her wildly. Queen Ming! Queen Ming! A woman, the boy's mother no doubt, charges out of a doorway and bowing humbly to Ming, begins scolding the boy for his rude behavior. Ming herself, however, waves back at him, a placid smile on her face. Smiling joyfully at this unexpected response from Her Majesty the Queen, the boy starts jumping up and down, shouting, Long live Queen Ming! Long live Queen Ming! Ming stares again at the sky above. Unchanged though it has been for a thousand years, the blue of the sky penetrates more deeply into her eyes and her heart than it ever did in the days of her youth. Uh, this really helps contextualize that that scene pretty early on in the game where uh, Jansen roofies her and she reveals that she was watching him the whole time. We should take the white boa. The white boa? What is that? ship you need, we have the Nautilus. To get through the ice fields, we'll need a ship that can break the ice with its hull. And the white boa can do that. Yeah, it's true, the Nautilus doesn't have as much strength. She'd probably be no match against the ice. This is a real classic RPG. We're getting a third ship. I <laughs> no insult to the Nautilus. She has shown unmatched maneuverability. And we shall have need of her again. Please, lend us your help when we need it. Yeah, sure. Leave it to me. We should be able to berth the Nautilus inside the White Boa. That way we could use either ship when needed. That's oh yeah, true. everyone who has the earrings, they I do not stop moving. We've just been doing Ming a lot culture. more, so I noticed it a bit more there. Kaim also has that problem. Look at him move. <laughs> Ming. Also Kaim's. What is it? Will you go back? Not to our world, but to your country. You must choose at some point. A thousand years is a long time. There are many important things to be done in this world. Kaim. What will you do? I have to leave. Hold on. Yep, shit I haven't picked up. Thank you. Hold up. Hmm. 
take this giant thing real quick. Oh, I remember this area now. Oh, yeah. I remember this place. Remember when we were, like, running from, like, Kakanis' people and stuff? I remember. That's great, dude. I don't know if we're meant to be up here or we're going down. This game doesn't have, like, a marker on anything, so we're gonna try and leave this way and see. That's the Queen's Chambers. Yeah, we're probably not meant to go, go here. Hold on. Hold on, though. Does this game have ultimate weapons? I would not be shocked. We're about to unlock the last ship that I imagine makes is the last thing we need to be able to access any location. Let's take the lift down and go back south. I was about to say, am I blocked? Can I actually not leave? Okay, I, ma I imagine the, the white bow would be at a port. Honestly, based on that, I could probably leave through the hub and then just teleport. Now that I think about it, yeah, I could just do that. Yep, there we go. I was very worried. I didn't know which one. But thankfully, we figured it out. Come here in search of boats. Got any boats in chat? Oh, here we go. We got like an entrance here. Maybe this is it. Nope. Okay, it's gonna be opposite side though. I don't know why I referred to the, to the world I'm in. It's like, yo, what's up, chat? Uh, what about you? Hello, is this where you keep your boats? I'm sorry, you don't put a marker on here. I kind of have to guess where you've lo where you've uh, hidden your boats. Can't open up that from there. All right, I'm googling. Where the fuck is this thing?
Eh, I gotta keep looking around for it. Here's hoping I find it. Maybe I can cross over from the big door on the side. Maybe it's that. Nah, that's gated off. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, here we go. So this? Is boat in here? Is this where boat is? Easy one boat. Easy one big boat. I'm here for big boat. Yes! Okay, we're good. Thank God. I googled and everyone was asking about where it is because they they did not remember where it was location-wise after they got it. Good work, everybody. I'm Jansen now. That's great. That's great, dude. Where's Grand Staff flown to now? First job's to find it. So true, dude. Assemble a ring? Uh, I can't make any of the rings uh, that you have on. Gongora repaid Goza for attacking his coronation ceremony with Grand Staff. Having seen this, the citizens of Uro become devout believers in Gongora and the Grand Staff. They are those who speak out against him, but they're few and far between. What Uro does next is going to decide if the whole world descends into a war or not. During our investigation, the Grand Staff is located in the Sea of Baos. Turning the energy of the Sea of Baos hypercurrents into magic power, or in other words, recharging. Now that Gungora has used that energy up in Ura, he might return to the Grand Staff to Sea of Baos in order to recharge again. Cool, dude. That's great. Happy for him. Yo, what's up, dude? How you doing? What's up, Peepot? Okay, see you later. They're like, eh, we might die, so I guess I guess you can I guess you can be our guy. People of Ura have accepted Gungor as their king ultimately because of my failure, but I will not allow Gungor to get away with it anymore. That's great, dude. Uh hello. Where have Cook and Mac gone off to? Children crawl into everything. I guess I'm meant to examine everything until the plot progresses tragically. My worst fear is realized when, when the RPG makes you run around the area and talk to people instead of just playing a cutscene like a sober person. Okay, they just wanted him to have a moment with Ming. Okay, never mind. We're good. He needed an opportunity to schmooze. Do you really mean it? I can't say what Gongora might be planning. For him to remain in this world for his own selfish ends. Not about him. About you. <sighs> Don't you want to stay and save Namara? Yes. Something else to stay for, too. Thank you. 
Dude, you locked it in. I'm so glad I met you. Uh, what? I... Like me? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to this, you know. Getting serious like this and... Well, I mean, you... See, you're queen. Uh, you got a castle, it's... You know, own your own country. You know, I, 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 I'm serious when I fall in love. I mean, you know, I don't play around like that. I mean, I, mean, I know I am good looking and kind of irresistible. I, I, I but, but, but see, I never thought you'd get serious about me. And, and I gotta tell you, I mean, you being immortal, and I'm just, you know, just a regular guy, uh, you know, good sense of humor, you know, but I, you, see, you, I don't know what to say. Help me. So queens shouldn't fall in love. Oh. <laughs> the Dormans got together. No, he does not have Jansen Frizz. I know you're there. <laughs> Kids. Uh. Kids, if you're over here watching, I need you to know that you are, in fact, still participating in cuckoldry. <laughs> she likes you. You two little snoops. That's sweet. <laughs> He's blushing. You're so cute. Ow, what are you, Seth's sister? Uh, Aunt Ming, this is the guy for you? He's the only one for me. <laughs> He's like, ooh. Man, this is fucked up. He's gonna be a fucking king. <laughs> anyway, thank you to Belden who donated earlier. I totally forgot to read your note. And this is has been a very well-paced well final disc. Most of them usually go, final disc! I right, go win. Here, they're like, oh, we got more stuff to do. It's okay. It's in the JRPG hack, uh, hack rotation that uh, the comedy character has to get hit for no good reason. Hey, it's the slant nose. You guys got her back? You're the guy from before. We won't give you this ship. I don't really want it because we got one.
your mom is engine, my Nautilus, ah, we'd be in business. Yes, how do I work this thing? Uh, the white bow controls work like those of the slant nose. Move backwards, uh, hit X. Make the world map appear, click the right stick, and move to a landing point. The, the white bow can navigate through ice fields when the ice is relatively thin. The white bow equipped with an internal hanger for the Nautilus, while in the Nautilus, approach the white bow and press the A store button. Press again to store the Nautilus in the hangar. With the Nautilus in the hangar, B launch is displayed at the bottom right. You must press B to launch it at any time. Press RB to go to the pilot house of the white bow to bring up the navigations. Uh, when you're in the white bow, you can save uh, or shop at all times. View the Nautilus. Uh, yes. The powered up Nautilus can now jump into the air. To control it, use the left stick when the stick's moving fast enough. For the X jump prompt will appear. When jump is played, hold down to make it fly. While in the air, you have the option to land directly on the water by pressing X when the splashdown is displayed. Alright, let's see. We, uh... Got some work to do. Uh, this one takes a bit to move. I'll give it that one. Movement is not its uh, forte. Alright, let's see. Ice. I guess ice would be... I guess it would be that ring to the left, right? I guess it would be that. There's like a white ring on like the left side there. All right, let's see if we can do that then. Okay. Off we go. That looks like a staff over there. I think that's it. Yeah, that sure is Grand Staff. are protecting the damn thing. What is that glow? That's magic energy. It's storing up power like a living creature. It's getting stronger. I've never felt anything like it before. Whoa, that's really creepy. Hey, you're crying, are you? Uh, no, my eyes this are just normal. This time to be crying. Doting Grandpa. Can we get any closer? This ship will be fine. Okay, let's push through. Take that ice board the Grand Staff. You cannot return to this point. Looks like it's a hard committal. Dangerous.
So is this it? Uh, based on guides, it looks like we have a little bit more past this. To be fair, he did make a couple of these. We're, we are definitely not going to be beating this tonight or anything. Okay, it looks like the next thing will be a dungeon and then we can, like, we'll be free to move around past this point. So, fuck it. We're going to hard commit. Frankly, we do not know Gongor's endgame yet, so we need a little time for this. Like, we, we know he wants to, like, rule the world or whatever, but he needs to, like, give us his final, like, nuclear option or something. Oh, fuck! Grand staff. Okay, yeah, we have we cannot leave this place until we clear this dungeon now. That's fine. No big deal. Mainly because we got we we got the whole we got the whole squad here. Actually, we do not. Let's see. Oh yeah, we do. For some reason, I thought we had ten part members. No, we have nine. That is the standard. Grand Staff's essentially a Death Star. Yeah, so yeah, it's a giant mobile fortress that's shaped like a staff that can shoot giant magic at it. Instead of shooting a laser that blows up a planet, he can, like, shoot off a magic spell that causes a gigantic ice spell that entirely froze an entire city and killed millions of people. It's literally the mage Death Star. You know, it's tough being so popular. All right, let's let's fight a group of enemies. We're gonna be ending soon, for the record. And I will probably use this area to grind and pick up tomorrow. But I do wanna I do wanna check these guys out real quick though. See, see what we're see what we're dealing with. Get a nice stretch in there while I wait for 85 people to do their turn before me. How dare you paralyze me? Beware my play. Khan's body's like, no, it hurted. She's like, no, it also hurted. Can someone deal with the trash? Thank you. Beware my blade.
Holy shit, you're still alive. That's impressive. It's been a while since uh, I've done a normal battle. I forgot how protracted they can be sometimes. Ow. Ow. Whoa, you're stacked. You have, like, what, 3k health? Definitely over 3,000. There, get out of here. What an ass. Picked up drain shower. That's good. Hold on, let me check my time. 4737. Chamber of Flowers. That's good. Alright, cool. Alright, chat. That's gonna do it for me for today. Day 6 of Lost Odyssey was quite successful. We broke through the end of Disc 3, reunited the team. Got, got everyone in the ship, got a bigger ship, uh, defeated Kakanis, who uh, is dead now, probably. Uh, and we're going to go do Grand Staff. Best thing, though, most importantly, I have not saved while being trapped in here. And I remembered that I saved after Kakanis, so I'm going to load that save and do side stuff and then go back in here and grind. <laughs> Which means that I happily am not trapped in here. Because it'll probably be faster if I fight really weak enemies to get SP. To get a lot of skills, uh, rather than do this. So, I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, oh, here, since I got 8 by chat, let me check it out, Fatty Dragon. This is really good. This, this, is, this is quite good. I like, I'm, I'm going to tweet this later. <laughs> this, is, this is great. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm gonna have this on screen so it'll scare me later when I open up when I open up OBS again to stream. Lost Odyssey's been great. We might in fact finish next time, so let's 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 see if we can dig in. Thank you everybody for coming out. Uh have a wonderful Saturday. Enjoy that FF14 fan fest if you care about that. I gotta go. <laughs>